Hey guys, and welcome to the next Game Gengu vocabulary video. In this video, we're going to be going through a game in Japanese and breaking down every single line so that you can understand all of the Japanese no matter what level you are. In this video, I'll be using a combination of Kamui OCR to automatically transcribe all of the text in this game. This is an incredibly useful tool for people who are studying Japanese to get access to the actual Japanese so that you can use it with the dictionary like Yomitan, and that's also what I'm going to be using in this video so you can actually see the dictionary definitions of all of the words that we come across, as well as see which words are new that we haven't previously covered in this series. And so the game that we're going to be covering in this video is Nekopara Cat Boys Paradise. And so this game was the winner of the most recent community vote over at the Game Gengo Discord. As we can see, it won first place with Final Fantasy VII Remake coming in second and Final Fantasy X coming in at third. If you want to make sure that your favorite game gets covered on this channel and we can learn some Japanese with it, make sure to join the Game Gengo Discord and vote for the game that you most want to see. You can join the Discord by supporting the channel either directly through the website or through Patreon. And so in this video, we're going to be covering quite a lot of Japanese here with 103 and 5 pieces of language. 57 and 4, 76 and 3, 22 and 2, and 29 and 1 pieces of vocabulary, with 189 additional pieces of vocabulary beyond the JLPT. And so in this video alone, you're going to be exposed to over 470 pieces of vocabulary, with 158 of that being completely brand new. We're also going to be hitting some milestones with this video. As you can see, after this video, we will have covered 60% of the N5. Every single piece of N5 vocabulary, 60% has been covered in this series. 59% of the N4, 42 of the N3, 16 of the N2, 14 of the N1, with 27% of the entire JLPT. And so just very quickly before we get into the game and break down all the Japanese, I'm just going to go through a very quick kind of review of what this game is like for Japanese learners. And so this game is a visual novel, and in fact it's an otome game. And what that means is that it's a game that's based around one girl, and generally there are several kind of guys that are then fighting for her affections or interests or love interests or things like that. This is kind of a flip of the more traditional, the main character's a guy and there's a bunch of girls who are trying to fight for his affections. In fact, the original Nekopara is that exact same thing. The main character is a guy with a lot of cute cat girls. Now, as this game is a visual novel, it's kind of tier placement of good games for learning Japanese is pretty top tier, really. If you like visual novels, visual novels are often one of the very best to get you to actually help learning Japanese. The reason why is because the text is usually take at your own pace, just like this game. It's very commonly voice acted. In fact, this game is completely voice acted. And often you can even replay the voice acting whenever you want, which you can do in this game. Another bonus of this game is it's actually free. You don't have to pay any money. It is completely free. The game's only a couple of hours long with each character having their own route, adding on an additional hour or so per character. So if this is a genre that interests you, then this is actually a pretty good game to get you into learning Japanese with because, hey, it's free. You can Anyone can play it. And so for tier list placement, really all visual novels, particularly ones with all of these strengths, are somewhere around the S to A tier. If you want a lot of text like reading a novel, then visual novels can be a great choice. So without further ado, let's jump right into breaking down all of the Japanese for Nekopara Cat Boys Paradise. So starting things off, we have a very boyish cat boy here, and here he says, Fenneru-san, Ohio. So Fenneru means fennel, so one of the characters' names is fennel. Sun is then an honorific suffix put at the end to show respect towards them. So he's speaking in a respectful way towards Fenneru. And he says, Ohio. So Ohio is just good morning. And so here we're using the Game Gengo Yomitan dictionary setup. You can actually get this yourself over at the Game Gengo Discord. And as we can see, it's ranking it as an N1 piece of vocabulary. Now, Ohio, the word for good morning, is not N1, but because it's here with the kanji, that's why it's put it here as the N1. As you can see, it's much more commonly here written in kana, as we can see in the JPDB rankings here with the 1341 with the ka. That means that's the frequency ranking of the word when written in kana, not kanji. As you can see, kanji is much less common. If we look, for example, at Lorenzi's Jisho, we can see that Ohio here is an N2 piece of language. Again, though, I wouldn't focus too much on the JLPT rankings, as that's often quite arbitrary. What's more important here is we can see it's a very commonly used word in the top 400 in anime and drama. A very common word in normal everyday speech. Ohio, good morning. Ohio! Oh, 
Now we see another one of the cat boys here with a very different kind of personality. In these type of games, there are usually a very stereotypical type characters that they have. Like you might have the really serious personality or the really silly personality or the one that doesn't show too much interest or the one that gets angry all the time. They, they have these really kind of common tropes they often use. So here, this guy appears to be a little bit more of the masculine type. As you can see, he's always wearing like a samurai outfit. And he says, Oh, mo kitata no ka? Fenneru wa hayai na. So, oh is just like, whoa. Mo here is already. Kuru is to come, so you've come already here. Kiteta came, so you've come already. And then no ka. This is now kind of a lamenting question. So it's kind of like, oh, you've come already, huh? Here we can see it's used to almost reflect on what he said. So, oh, you've already arrived. Fenneru wa. So as for fenu, hayai na. So hayai just means fast or early. And then na is like a masculine ne. So, whoa, you're here already? You're pretty quick, huh? Oh, mo kiteta no ka? フェンネルは早いな。うん。約束の10分前ですね。10分前行動ができるのは良いことです。これからも心がけてください。And now we have the third character here and he says, "Hm, 約束の10分前ですね。So, hm is like, hm. 約束 is an N4 piece of language as we can see here meaning a promise and agreement. 約束の so now kind of like a promised 10分 is 10 minutes, and then Maya is before. So about 10 minutes before what was promised or what was arranged. And then desne, this is like getting confirmation. So, hmm, about 10 minutes before what was arranged. And then he continues on with 10分前 kodo ga dekiru no wa yoi koto desu. So, 10分 mae is 10 minutes before, kodo is now for some sort of action or even mobilization, conduct or behavior. So here, this is connected to 10分 mae to mean taking action 10 minutes before. So like to be ready for something 10 minutes earlier. Dekiru is to be able to do and then no wa, the thing of. So as for the thing of being able to act 10 minutes early, yoi koto desu. Yoi is just the same as i for good and then koto is a thing. So literally it's a good thing. And this is actually the first new word that we haven't seen yet in the series. As you can see here marked with the new icon. We can also see that yoi koto can also mean a good excuse, good grounds or even a good opportunity. And then he finishes his sentence with des. And this is the polite way to state something is. So it is a good thing, but speaking in polite speech. And then he finishes off with kore kara mo kokoro gakete kudasai. So kore kara from here, literally kore is this, literally kind of like here, and then kara from, so from this point. However, here it's being used for definition number one, meaning in the future. It does literally mean from this point, but because it has the mo particle, it's like also, even. This doesn't imply that the action is beginning right now, but just that you're going to continue doing something. So kore kara could mean from this point, from now on, or it could just be used to express something continuing on the way it is. And then normally some action or some request follows after this expression, and here we see kokoro gakeru. Now, kokoro can be your heart, but even your mind. And then kakeru has so many different uses. Here read though as gakeru because it's connected to kokoro. And as we can see, when it's used combined, it's an N1 piece of language that means to keep something in mind, to bear in mind, or even to endeavor to do something. And so you'll often see this when someone's telling someone to keep something in mind. And we can see this connected here with te kudasai. This means please do. So he's requesting to them, please keep that in mind. And so he's saying, please keep it in mind that it's a good thing if we're able to act 10 minutes earlier. うん。約束の10分前ですね。10分前行動ができるのは良いことです。これからも心がけてください。そういうフェンネルさんはいつからここに僕たちより早く来てたから。and then the kind of most boyish of the cats here, uh, their name is actually Dil, so their name is Diru. He says, Soyu Fenneru san wa itsukara koko ni. So, Soyu is in that way, Fenneru san. So, Fenu who is in that way, he referring to being early. And then, wa as for. So, we can see we're talking about something about Fenu. Itsukara. So, itsu is when, kara from. So, from when, since when, koko ni. Koko means here, and then ni here has many different uses. If you want to see how to use the neat particle, make sure to check out my knee video that I just did covering all of the uses of the neat particle. It's very varied. But here, it's probably being connected to something like 
iru, to exist. So here it's marking the place of existing, existing here, being here. But that part is just dropped because it's clear that's what he's referring to. So you, who says that it's good to be early, how long have you been here for? Bokutachi yori hayaku kiteta kara, mmm, jugo fumae? So bokutachi here is for us, boku is the more boyish, humble way of referring to yourself, but men use it as well. Tachi is the pluralizing suffix here, so us. Yori, this also has many uses, but this is more like than. So than us, or more than us. Hayaku, early, kiteta kara. We know kiteta was to have come. Kara, because. So because you've come earlier than us, mm, that's like thinking, 15分前? 15 minutes ago? So you fender san wa it's kara kokoni? Boktachiori hayaku kiteta kara. Mmm. 15分前! 30分前です. <laughs> and then he replies with 30分前です. So here we can clearly see uh, that Fennel has a very kind of Mr. Responsible personality. You can kind of tell that with the glasses and everything and the very kind of almost cocky attitude, right? And so here he's the kind of Mr. Perfect. He was here 30 minutes ago. 30分前です. 30分前? Okay, and then he continues on with quite a bit, so we'll just break it down sentence by sentence. So first he says, So we have a bit of new language here. First, kyo, this just means today. We've seen this plenty of times. Kyo wa, so as for today. So we can see that because he used the wa particle, he's going to be adding some information. What is he adding information about? He's adding information about today. So as for today, yatoi nushi. So yato is the verb to employ someone. And then nushi is like a master. So the master who employs here, the employee. Employer. And so this is one of the most common ways of saying employer in Japanese. Yatoi nushi. Ni, marking direction of action. Hajimete, for the first time. Au, to meet. Ki is a day. And then des again, speaking politely. So he's saying, this is the day that we meet with, kind of the ni, showing direction of action, meeting with our employer. Chikoku nado, motte no hoka. So chikoku, we've seen this before, this just means to be late here at the N3 level. Nado is things like, so things like to be late. And then we have this new piece of language here, motte no hoka. This is definitely a bit more rarer used expression here. This means for something to be absurd or unreasonable. It's almost like it's very improper. So it's very improper to be late on the day when you're going to be meeting your employer. And then he continues on with, toaie, hayaku. So a lot of new language here, first here with toaie, be that as it may, or nonetheless. Hayaku, we've now seen that many times of being early here. Suku is to arrive somewhere, but here it's connected to sugiru, to be too much. So tsuki sugiru, the mus stem of tsuku, tsukimasu. And then sugiru, to do too much. So to arrive somewhere too early, homon here is another new piece of language, and this means to call on someone to visit someone. So the visiting of someone is also mo shitsure ni atarimasu. Now shitsure we've seen many many times here, this means to be kind of rude or impolite. And then ni ataru, this actually means that something amounts to something. Here referring to the act of arriving too early. So also arriving too early can amount to being rude or being impolite. So if we put it all together, today is the day that we meet our employer. Being late is out of the question. That being said, however, if you arrive too early, that can also be rude. Ah, and there we have the exact personality type of this character. So, Feneru san wa majime. So, majime is when someone's really serious about something, often used like in this example to be almost like a goody two shoes, someone who follows the rules and always kind of is serious about things. 
Someone who's very serious about study, always studying, never doing anything else. I would say I'm a pretty mudgy mare person. However, I definitely have my periods where I just wanna not be so uptight and just relax and enjoy things. When I was at university, I was very, very mudgy mare, studying all day, every day, really, really hard, doing Anki as much as I possibly could. And so that would be mudgy mare. However, nowadays I'm trying to actually just enjoy the study and so that's where video games come in. And then finally he finishes off with Dana, and this is the same as Desnet. So wow, Fennel, you're pretty serious, huh? As you saw, Fennel's very worried about everything. He's been worried about being too early or being worried about being too late. Ah,ははは。Fennel-san-wa-majime-da-na. <laughs> So are is like, huh? So yeba. Speaking of which, Rorie san wa? So Rorie is another new word here, and this is actually the word for a bay leaf. Like when you make spaghetti, <laughs> you put bay leaf in it. Here, Rorie is the name of the final character. Generally, there are about four different characters that kind of are the different routes that you can go, and they're the different kind of personalities. So you can see that three of them have already arrived, but one of them is perhaps missing. Here, Rorie san wa? So as for Rorie, where are they? So, Kono, this, Chikaku is nearby, Niwa, Ni here is again marking the position of existence, and then Wa as for, and we can see it's marking the position of existence because Inai is now the negative form of Iru, to exist. So, to not be, to not exist. Mitai means it appears, and then Dana, we already know that means Desne. Huh. So, he doesn't seem to be anywhere nearby here. So Dill worries a bit and eh, どうしよう? So eh is when you show surprise at something, eh, and then どうしよう? What should we do? どう is how, and then suru here in the volitional form, shio is what should we do? How should we do it? どうしよう? Soro soro jikan na no ni. So soro soro means any time soon, before too long. Jikan means it's time, and then na no ni, despite. So despite it being time soon. So it's only 10 minutes until they're supposed to meet with their employer. Eh? Do you Soro soro jikan na no ni. Smaho ni renlak shite miru zo. Oh, well, that's convenient. Catboys have smartphones. So here we have the word for a smartphone in Japanese, smaho. Now, smaho is just an abbreviation of smartphone. Smartphone. This neat particle is now marking direction of action, and then rendaku is to contact, so to contact to them. Shite miru is to try doing something, and then zo here is trying to be a little bit emphatic, trying to kind of push someone to do something. So here, try contacting them by phone. Smaho ni rendaku shite miru. So they don't seem to be able to connect, and so here he says, Denwa ni denai na. So Denwa here is the phone, Deru is to kind of appear here to answer the phone. This is kind of a part of a set phrase, Denwa ni Deru, to answer the phone. Here, Denai to not answer the phone. So he didn't answer the phone, huh? Tsnagaru kara, dengen wa kittenai mitai da ga. So tsnagaru is to connect. So the phone did connect. Kara, because dengen wa. So as for the power, the power of the phone, kittenai, kiru is to cut something, so to kind of sever power, to turn something off. So here kind of referring to a phone being turned off or to be disconnected. But kittenai, it doesn't seem to be disconnected. Mitai, it seems. Daga, however. So they didn't answer their phone. However, it doesn't look like their phone's turned off. Oh, Okay, and so the serious cat boy is having none of this. He says, Shikata arimasen. This is the same as shoganai. It can't be helped. Literally, shikata is the way of doing something, and then arimasen, it doesn't exist. So literally, there is no way of doing it. I know some translators have an issue with that translation, but it is very much literally how it's being used. There is no way, there is no other choice. So it can't be helped. Machiawase jikan ni natte mo konakatta ra. 
So machiawase here is the appointment. So we saw previously that yakusoku no jikan, the promised time, the arranged time, but here it's now being expressed in a different way with just machiawase, the appointment. Machiawase jikan, so the appointment time, ni natemo. Now, naru is the verb to become, ni naru, to become something, so to become the appointed time. Temo is even if it becomes that time, konakatara. If he doesn't come, watashitachi dake de saki ni aisatsu shimashou. So watashitachi is us. We've seen bokutachi for us, but now watashi is the pronoun that he's using to refer to himself. And then tachi is just a pluralizing suffix. So us, watashitachi dake de, just with us, dake only de with. So just with us, saki ni, this means ahead, or before someone or something, aisatsu shimashou. Now, aisatsu suru is to greet or to welcome someone, and then shimasho is the polite way of shio, let's. So if they don't come by the appointment time, let's just go on ahead just with us. Okay, so this other cat definitely seems to be a bit more of a, a late slack personality uh, because some time passed and they didn't seem to come because here we see kekkyoku. Jikan ni natte mo konakatta ne. So kekkyoku is after all in the end. Jikan ni naru to become, but here jikan ni natte mo. Even though it became the time, konakatta ne. Konakatta didn't come, ne ha. So in the end, they didn't make it, huh? And so here he says, Seiji-san, Diru-kun, ikimasu-yo. So one thing that's interesting here is we can actually see different suffixes using based on the person. He uses son for Seiji. We didn't cover that as well, but that guy's name is Seiji, so that's Sage. So they all seem to be named after herbs. Fennel, Sage, and Dill. Oh, and Laurel Bay Leaf. But he uses Sun for Seiji, but Kun for Diru. Sun is very much like the general use suffix. It's just used to show respect towards the person. Almost like Mr, but not quite. Kun, however, is a little bit different as it's generally used in a bit more familiar situations. It can be used towards people of the same age or really close relationship. And it's often used by people who are older talking to someone who's younger. And so he uses the more neutral honorific Sun with Seiji, and then he uses Kun with Diru, which can be used either to express some sort of close relationship or just someone older talking to someone younger. Usually used with males, but it can also be used with females as well. And so he says, Ikimasu yo. Ikimas is to go in the polite speech, and then yo here is almost teaching something, almost telling them, let's go, being a little bit pushy. It's often used when you're teaching people information. So, come on, Sage Dill, let's go. Sage san, Dill kun, ikimasu yo. Mm, mm. So, yeah, okay. Mm, mm. And so here we can see they're actually waiting for someone because here Sage says Donna Hitoka Tanoshimidana. So Donna is what kind of Hito is a person, ka is like a question, so what kind of person, and then Tanoshimi is to look forward to something. So he's saying that he's looking forward to seeing what kind of person they are, the person they're waiting for, their employer. Donna Hitoka Tanoshimidana. And so we arrive at a nice looking old traditional kind of cafe, and here Dil says, Kabe is the wall, ni on the wall, and then we have this new piece of language here, furu doke. Furu is just from furui, old, and then doke is from toke, for a clock. So an old clock. Furudoke. So that kind of retro feel, that kind of antique feel, an antique clock. Ga, and then we have kakete aru. Now kakeru has many different uses as we've even seen in this video, like with kokoro gakeru. But here kakeru is just the most straightforward use to hang something on. Here marked with the neat particle, on the wall. So kabe ni something ga, 
Takete aru. Something is hung on the wall, but here we have kakete aru. Now, te aru means that it's in a certain state, so the antique clocks are hung on the wall. And then Feneru here says, Yatoi nushi no shumi de shouka. Yoi shumi o shiteimasne. So, Yatoi nushi no, so the employers. And then we have shumi. We've seen this before, but this can be both someone's hobby or even someone's tastes. So, this could be referring to the tastes of the employer. And then, de shouka here is expressing some sort of wonder, like I covered in the de shouka video. So, he used to express, I wonder if it was his hobby. And then he continues on with, yoi shumi o shiteimasne. Yoi is good, shumi again for tastes or hobby, and then o shiteimas, to be doing, marked by the o particle. So, to be having good tastes. Yatoi nushi no shumi de shouka. Yoi shumi o shiteimasne. Oh? Ah, here we are, so now we have a little bit more information about this employer. So first he starts off with N? Huh? no Yatoi Nushi wa. So now we've seen Bokutachi, Watashitachi, and now Oretachi. So this guy's pronoun is Ore. As you can see, he's a bit more of a strong masculine type, and they're the more types that are more likely to use Ore. So, oretachi no yatoi nushi wa. So, as for our employer, daigaku is actually a new piece of language, and this means a university. Dai is like big, gaku is like learning or school. So, the big school, the university. O sotsugyo shita bakari. So, sotsugyo suru is another new word here, and this means to graduate from. And we can see what they're graduating from marked by the o particle. Daigaku o sotsugyo suru. Now, sotsugyo suru here is connected to bakari here when used in the past tense form, and this means that they've only just done something. Ta bakari. I believe I also have a video on this on the channel, so feel free to type ta bakari and find that, if you want to see more about this grammar point. And so, sotsugyo shita bakari no onna no ko. Now, onna no ko is a woman or a girl, so a girl who just graduated. Da to, so da is stating something to be, and then to is quoting what? Kiteru. Kiku is to hear. Kiteru means they're hearing. And then zo is being a bit emphatic, a bit pushy here, but it's in the question as well. So it is expressing that they're a little bit uncertain, but they're being pushy that they're pretty sure this is the right thing. So he's saying that he's pretty sure that the employer is a girl who only just graduated university. Oh? Okay, so it definitely looks like we're going to be able to learn a little bit more difficult language here with Fenneru. He seems to use a little bit rare words here and there. And so here he says, Naiso wa kanojo no oji san desho. So, naiso here is another new piece of language, and this means the interior design. So, I'd say this is a pretty unique piece of language, especially finding in video games. If we didn't play this game, we may not have come across this word before or since, because interior design is not too often mentioned in video games unless you're playing perhaps Animal Crossing Interior Designer. I can't remember the actual title of that game, but the game where you focus on interior design. Here, naiso is interior design, so naiso wa. As for the interior design, kanojo, her, no oji san, her grandfather, oji san is often written in just kana, but as we can see in this game, it is using the kanji. And then desho, I wonder or I guess. So I guess it was her grandfather that did the interior design. Moto moto, another new piece of language, this means originally, from the start. So this is a new piece of language at the N2 level, so from the first place. Kono mise wa, kono, this mise is this shop, then wa as for, so we're adding information about this shop. Sono kata, sono means that, and then kata is the respectful way of referring to a person. Instead of saying sono hito, a more respectful way would be sono kata. So that person, or even that gentleman, that lady, sono kata ga kei sarete imashita kara ne. And so we get another new piece of language thanks to Fennel Kesuru here is to manage something, particularly when running a business or running a shop. This is a very common piece of language at the N3 level. As we can see, Wikipedia says it's top 600. 
but I guess they often talk about the history of people and so this would be a really common word in places like Wikipedia. But still, it's pretty common in JPDB as well as anime and J-drama. So ke suru here is a useful piece of language to run something, to manage something. Here, running the business. This here is the honorific sareru, which is the same as the passive sareru, but here it's being used in honorific speech to express that originally he was the one managing this shop, and then kara because, and then ne kind of getting confirmation like you know or right. So the interior design is likely done by her grandfather, as it was originally run by him. この店はその方が経営されていましたからね。さて、彼女は。さて、彼女は。そう、さて、彼女は。はあ。気持ちよく寝てたのに、想像しいな。Okay, and this seems to be the final cat boy here. And yes, they seem to be the lazy type, the kind of aloof type. And so here he says, Kimochi yoku netetta no ni sozoshi na. So kimochi yoku means it feels good. Literally, kimochi is feelings, and then yoi or yoku here is good, so in a good feeling, pleasantly. Neteta, neru is to sleep, so neteta, he slept, no ni, despite. So despite the fact that he was sleeping pleasantly, sozo shi na. Now, sozo shi here is an entry piece of language to be loud, boisterous, noisy. So despite I was sleeping nice and pleasantly, you guys are really noisy. So he appears to be woken up from his sleep. <laughs> <sighs> Oh, yep, and there we have it, Rorie-san. So his name is Bayleaf, Rorie. Rorie-san! Oh, Rorie is the best one. Oh, okay, so it's actually the opposite. So here Sage says, Oh, Rorie is the best one. So Rorie ga, so Rorie did an action, or is in a kind of certain state, and here that is Ichiban nori. Ichiban is number one, kind of like the first, and then nori here is actually like to ride, but here it's using this expression to be the first person to arrive first. It can also be the first rider in a charge, like in the charge of battle. But we can see here it's definitely definition number two as there's no battle going on, this is just the first person to arrive somewhere. A super common way of expressing this, but as we can see, this is more just a saying that they're using. So you're the first person to arrive. Ichiban nori dana. Oh, Rorie ga ichiban nori dana. Hmm. Nani o shite iru desu ka? Okay, and so the kind of uptight cat has a bit of a problem with the uh, relaxing, lazier cat, and so here he says, Nani o shite iru desu ka? So, nani o suru, what are you doing? And then in the progressive form, nani o shite iru, what are you doing? And then n desu ka, n is like the explanatory, it is that, and then desu ka, a polite question. So, what is it that you are doing? Nani o shite iru desu ka? Okay, so definitely a much more carefree personality. Here he says, Mireba wakarudaro. So, Mireba, if you look, Miru is to look in the but form, kind of hypothetical. If you look, wakaru, you will understand daro, right? Daro is the same as desho, kind of like right or I guess. So, you will understand what I'm doing just by looking. If you look, you'll understand, right? Oh, okay, that's a weird place to be. So here, Fennel says, Doste Anataga Kanojo no Hiza de Neteiru no Kato Kiterundes. So, Doste, why? Anata, you, ga, so you're doing an action, Kanojo no, so the girls. Hiza, that's the knee, and then de marking place of action, so on or at her knee, or even definition number two, on her lap, neteiru, sleeping, no ka to kiteiru. So I'm asking 
why you're sleeping on her knee or her lap. And then Ndes, he's explaining. So he's explaining it is that. So it is that I'm asking why you're sleeping on her lap. Just the visualization of this is a bit funky, right? We have a full grown adult, <laughs> not a cat, <laughs> but a cat adult man thing. <laughs> and he is sleeping on a full grown woman's <laughs> lap. It's, it's, <laughs> and no one noticed when they walked into the cafe. That wasn't the first thing they saw. It's like, what are you doing? <laughs> Sitting on that girl's lap, just a, a full grown adult. Um, a little bit of imagination may be required. <laughs> he is a cat boy. どうしてあなたが彼女の膝で寝ているのかと聞いているんです。今日からここが俺の寝床になるからだ。そうだろ、ご主人様。<laughs> Okay, I think this cat is a little bit on the uh cheeky flirty side for sure. So he he says, "Kyo kara." From today, poko ga. So here, ore no, mine. And then, nedoko, this means a bed or a place to sleep. Ni naru, to become. Kara, because. And then da, stating to be. So he's explaining that it's because from today onwards, this place is where I sleep. So he's claiming her lap to be where he sleeps. It's a bit forward of him. And then he continues on with, so daro. Goshujin sama. <laughs> so, so daro, so da is that's right, daro right, so that's right, right? Goshujin sama. Now, shujin can be a master or even a husband, but this is a bit more honorific speech with both the honorific prefix, go, and then sama. This is now the advanced high, high, high level of respect that we saw with things like kun and sun. Now we have sama. This is very high honorifics combined with the got particle as well makes it really honorific here. As we can see in definition number two, it could even be translated as your lordship. But in this situation, it's definitely just master. So definitely quite flirty in the way he talks. Uh, from this day on, your lap is where I sleep. Isn't that right, master? Today,ここが俺の寝床になるからだ。そうだろ、ご主人様? <laughs> Okay, so it looked like maybe the main character nodded with a bit of like a sweat drop. Not sure whether that was a yes or just kind of freaking out a bit. And he continues on with Hora, Koitsumo, Doista. So Hora is like, hey, look. Koitsu is like this person. So here referring to the main character. Mo, also. And then a new word here. This means to come to an agreement in something, almost to give approval or consent. So this is an N1 piece of language that's under the top 10,000 most useful words in all of the different categories. So definitely a useful word to learn here. Doi. Agreement, consent or approval. So look, even she agrees. Oh, <sighs> It's like sighing. Do mitemo. Do is how, and then mitemo, even if. This is kind of like no matter how you look at it. Komate. Komado is to be troubled or perplexed, but it's in the tef form because it's connected to another action. So it's to be perplexed and warateiru, to be laughing. Dake only desho, right? So no matter how you look at it, she's just a bit embarrassed or to be at a bit of a loss for words, and so she's laughing, right? <sighs> どう見ても困って笑っているだけでしょう。あなたも嫌なら嫌と言いなさい。出ないと猫は調子に乗りますよ。Okay, so Fenneru has some advice for the main character. He says, あなたも嫌なら嫌と言いなさい。so anata here is to say you, but what's interesting here is we can actually see it using a different kanji than the anata we saw before. So this is being counted as a new word, but it's just a new kanji that's using the exact same word. As we can see, the second kanji in anata is actually the kanji for a woman. So this has a slight nuance here to it that it's referring to a girl. Anata mo. You also, or even you, ya, that means it's no good, you don't like something. If it's unpleasant, ya nara, nara if. So if it's unpleasant, ya to inasai. Ya, it's no good, to is then quoting what? 
you to say. Here, i na sai is a request to say. And then to is quoting exactly what you should say. So if you don't like it, say no. And then he continues on with denai to. Neko wa choushi ni norimasu yo. So denai to is literally if you don't do. This is kind of connected to the previous statement. You will often see this with verbs in the nai form followed by to ikenai. It's the same kind of piece of language. Here it's just used by itself though. So if you don't do it, then to neko wa. So neko means a cat as this game is known as neko para, neko for cat, para for paradise, so cat paradise, uh, neko wa. So as for cats, so here we can see because he used the wa particle, he's adding information about cats, kind of general information. As for cats, if you don't say no, choushi ni norimasu yo. Now choushi ni noru is to kind of get carried away, to kind of get caught up in the moment. And then yo, he's teaching information. So if you don't say no, cats will get a bit carried away. So you gotta say no, if you don't like it. あなたも嫌なら嫌と言いなさい。出ないと猫は調子に乗りますよ。うーん。言っても猫だからあんまり気にしないと思うよ。うーん。言っても猫だからあんまり気にしないと思うよ。そう、うーん。言っても猫だから
自己紹介してなかった。We haven't done. So we still haven't done our self introductions, right? ローリエさんからはされてない。So ローリエさんから from him は as for from him Sareru to be done, but sarete nai hasn't been done. So, introductions still haven't been done by Rorie san? Ah, mada jiko shokai shite na katta yo ne. Rorie san kara wa sarete nai? は寝ちゃってるしフェンネルさん僕たちから自己紹介するでいいかな OK so it seems like he's asleep and so Dil says 本人は寝ちゃってるし So, Honnin is the person in question. So, so here asking about Laurie or Bailey. <laughs> he's asking this person in question. Honnin wa nechatteru. Neru is to sleep, but here it's with te shimao, to completely or to regretfully do something. So, nechatteru means he's completely asleep. Shi here, like kind of listing a reason. So, since he's fallen asleep, Fenneru san, boku tachi kara jiko shokai suru de ii kana. So, Fenneru san, he's talking to Fenneru. Boku tachi kara. So, from us, or starting from us. Jiko shokai suru, to self introduce. De i, it's good to do it like this. Kana, I wonder. So, since he's asleep, I guess it's okay if we do our self introductions first. Honni wa nechatte r shi. Fenneru san, boku tachi kara jiko shokai suru de ii kana. So, this ne. では、私からしましょう。そうですね。では、私からしましょう。そう、そうですね。That's right. では、well then。私、I、から、from、しましょう。Let's do it. So he's saying, well then, I guess I'll introduce myself first. そうですね。では、私からしましょう。フェンネルです。好きな食べ物は、クリームチーズと生ハムのパスタ。得意料理はパスタ全般ですが和、洋、中、何でも作れます。Okay, so now we have Jiko Shokai, self introduction. So here we can see how to introduce yourself. And here Fennel says, Fenneru des. So I am Fenneru, a polite way of introducing yourself. You can just say your name followed by des. Literally, it's am Matt, for example, Matto des. But it's clear who we're talking about. I'm talking about myself, so I can just say Matto des. I don't have to say, Watashi wa Matto des. Sounds very textbooky. Here we can see that Fenneru didn't say, Watashi wa. Fenneru des. Instead, he just said Fenneru des because we know that we're doing these introductions. So you don't need to say Watashi wa, Watashi wa, Watashi wa when it's obvious. And then he continues on with Skina tabemono wa cream cheese to nama hamu no pasta. So, skina, ski is to like something, here being used as a na adjective, skina, something that you like, tabemono, this means food, so a food that he likes. Wa as for. So, as for foods that he likes, and then we're going to add some information about that because of the wa particle. Kurimu cheese. So, cream cheese. To. And nama hamu. Now, this word's a bit of a weird one because nama is often used for things like raw, particularly when it's talking about food, and hamu is ham. So, raw ham kind of sounds like I'd get sick eating raw ham. And this is actually the word for the dry cured ham. So, it actually is raw, but it's cured, like prosciutto. I think that's how you pronounce it anyway. <laughs> I always say it wrong, like prosciutto or something. It looks kind of weird the way it's spelt. Ah, English. Anyway, that kind of very, very thin cured ham, that is namahamu, no pasta. And pasta is just pasta. So, his favorite food is cream cheese and dry cured ham pasta. And then he continues on with tokui ryori wa. So, tokui means something that you're good at, your forte. Ryori is cooking. So, the thing he's really good at cooking is, and the wa particle as for. So, we're going to be talking about this and adding information about it. Pasta zempan. So, pasta is pasta. Zempan is in general. So, kind of all of it. Desga, however. And then we have wa, yo, and chu. And this is short for the different types of cooking. Wa here is representing Japanese, like washoku. Yo is for Western cooking, and then chu is for Chinese cooking. So, Japanese, Western, and Chinese, 
何でも anything 作れます。I'm able to make. So my forte is pretty much anything pasta. However, I can also make Japanese, Western and Chinese food. So this guy is definitely quite a bit of a cook. Fennel des. 好きな食べ物はクリームチーズと生ハムのパスタ。得意料理はパスタ全般ですが、和、洋、中、何でも作れます。趣味は読書と仕事です。あなたが一人前のオーナーになれるよう、私が指導するので、どうぞよろしくお願いします。And he continues adding information about himself and he says, Shumi wa. So we know this time, Shumi is definitely his hobbies. It could still be his tastes, his interests, but it really is kind of the things he's interested in, his hobbies. Shumi wa, as for his hobbies, Dokusho, this is the noun for reading, as in reading a book. So, Dokusho to Shigoto, and that's work. So, his hobbies are reading and work. And then he politely states that with des. However, one thing I just want to point out is his pronunciation here of des. The s in des often kind of goes down, it doesn't get really strongly pronounced. Matto des is a totally normal way of saying it. However, he more says des. And this is a little bit more prim and proper way of speaking as you are fully pronouncing the sound of the s. And so you'll often see a bit more formal speakers speak in this way, as we just saw he did. And then he continues on with anata ga ichi nin mae no ona ni nareru yo. So, anata, again, we see it using the、uh, girl kanji here for you. Anata ga ichi nin mae. This means a fully fledged something. We've seen this previously in previous episodes. So, ichi nin mae no ona. Ona is then an owner. So, the fully fledged owner of something. Ni nareru. To be able to become, this is the same as ni naru to become, but here in the potential form ni nareru. To be able to become a full fledged owner, yo, in order to or so that, watashi ga, so I'm the one that would do something, shido suru no de. And shido suru is to guide someone. I believe we saw this in Final Fantasy VIII, maybe,、uh, but this is to give leadership to guide someone in doing something. So he will guide the main character in becoming a full fledged owner, so. No de, dozo, yoroshku onegai shimas. Which is kind of the longest form version of just yoroshku, which is kind of like, please treat me well, let's get along together well. But it's the very long expanded version with dozo added in the beginning, dozo, and then yoroshku onegai shimas. And sometimes you'll even see an even more formal speech with instead of onegai shimas, instead of suru, the shimas, it'll be using the honorific speech, the keigo speech, for instead of suru, it's itasu. So it'll be dozo yoroshiku onegai itashimas. That's in very, very formal speech. So you can see that he's a very proper speaker and he's speaking very politely, with a little bit of formality. Shumi wa dokusho to shigoto desu. Anata ga ichi nin mae no owner ni nareru yo, watashi ga shidou suru no de, dozo yoroshiku onegai shimasu. セイジラ、好きな食べ物は焼き魚とドラ焼き。得意料理は和食全般。趣味は風呂に入ることとスイーツ巡りだ。Okay, so the next character we have here is Seiji. He says Seiji だ。So his name is Sage. 好きな食べ物は、so、as for his favorite food, 焼き魚。So 焼き is like to cook or here to grill something, and then 魚 is just 魚 but it has that za because it's connected here to 焼く、焼き。Yaki zakana means grilled fish, to, and, and then dorayaki. So, this is a delicious Japanese dessert where you can kind of see、uh, it's almost like a sandwich hamburger type looking thing, but it's made out of two sweet pancakes with a bit of red bean paste in the middle. Sometimes the ingredients are changed for different things, but that is dorayaki. And then he continues on with tokui ryori wa. So, as for what he's good at cooking, washoku zenpan. So, washoku here, as I said previously, is the word for Japanese cooking. So, now we can see that wa added with shoku. For Japanese cuisine or Japanese cooking, Japanese food. And then again, zenpan for everything in whole or general. So his strengths are in general cooking Japanese food. Shumi wa furo ni hairu koto to sweets meguri da. Okay, so shumi wa, as for his hobby, furo is bath. Definitely an important kanji combination to kind of memorize here for this word, because if you see this, you know there's a bath. And going to things like baths and onsens are quite common in Japanese culture, so that's an important word right there. Furo ni hairu, so to enter the bath. Koto, the thing. To, and, so the thing of going to the public bathhouses like the onsen or the sento. To, and, 
sweets, that's sweets, and then Meguri. Now this is funny because Meguri is normally used for some sort of like pilgrimage, like going all the way around the circuit of something. But here he's using it in combination with sweets. So sweets Meguri means it's almost like a sweets pilgrimage or a sweets tour. So his hobby is going out to nice baths, as well as going out and eating lots of delicious sweets. Seja. 好きな食べ物は焼き魚とどら焼き。得意料理は和食全般。趣味は風呂に入ることとスイーツ巡りだ。俺は力持ちだから力仕事は任せてくれ。yeah, okay, and he's clearly the kind of masculine of the options here because he says ore wa, as for me in a very masculine way. Chikara mochi da kara. Chikara is strength, motsu is to hold or possess something. So here it's he possesses power, and we can see that's actually the word for a muscle man or a strong man. <laughs> uh, so chikara mochi, a muscle man, a strong man. Just like you might see kane mochi for someone who's rich, right? Someone who has money. Here, someone who has power or strength. Chikara mochi. Dakara, because, so because I'm a muscle man, <laughs> chikara shigoto wa. So again, chikara for power, shigoto for work, here means physical work or manual labor. Chikara shigoto wa, makasete kure. And makaseru is to entrust something to leave in the hands of. So because I'm a strong man, you can leave the physical labor work to me. So he's definitely the strong type if we had to pick out of these four, right? <laughs> definitely the strong one. Ore wa chikara mochi da kara, chikara shigoto wa makasete kure. Now it's Dill's turn to do his self introduction. And so he says, Diru desu. So I am Dill. Skina tabemono wa, so as for the food that I like, Hanbagu to omuraisu. So this is an interesting food here, Hanbagu. This is Hamburg, but it's not a hamburger as you may think when you see this word, you're like, oh, it's a hamburger. But no, actually it's a Japanese dish known as a Hamburg steak. And there are many Hamburg restaurants and really it's just a meat patty, often quite thick and a little bit juicy and maybe they'll have cheese or something. And there's even Hamburg restaurants like this. It says a hamburger steak, but that's just a really weird word. I'm not, I don't know what that's supposed to mean. For me, a hamburger is a is a hamburger, so how could you have a hamburger steak? But I guess that's referring to the, the patty, right? So here, his favorite food is hamburger steak and omuraisu. And this is kind of a very representative meal of kind of family home cuisine here. Omuraisu is kind of a Japanese thin omelette of egg, and then it's covering uh, rice, often done with like tomato sauce, and sometimes you have filling in the rice as well. And then he continues on with tokui ryori wa, so as for what he's good at cooking, Yoshoku. So this is now Western cooking. So we saw washoku for Japanese cooking, and now we have yoshoku for Western cooking. That being said though, yoshoku is definitely not the Western food that we may think of. It's more like Japanese Western food. So for a Japanese person, omuraisu is actually a kind of Western food. This is true as well for things like curry, even all of the katsu like the crumbed food, like chicken katsu and things like that, that's also yoshoku. The very kind of Japanese style spaghetti and pasta and things, this is also yoshoku, as well as the Hamburg steak. <laughs> but for example, as an Australian, none of these things I would consider Western food. So as you can see, it is a little bit different from what you and I might think of as Western food. And then zempan, everything or in general. And then he continues on with tokuni, kōbutsu no hamburg to omuraisu ga tokui kana. So tokuni is in particular, kōbutsu, this is a new word here and this means someone's favourite food. We can see kō here using the kanji for ski, to like, and then butsu is like a thing, so their favourite thing, here their favourite food. So his favourite foods in particular are hamburg and omurais. And so kōbutsu no hamburg to omuraisu ga tokui. He's good at it. And then kana is like I guess. So I guess I'm best at my favourite dishes in particular, hamburg steak and omuraisu. Next we have his shumi, so here he says shumi wa, as for his hobbies, sampo, this is the word for going for a walk. I've got to be a bit careful saying that word a bit too loud, my dog might hear. <laughs> sampo is for going for a walk. Uh, for example, I go for a sampo every day uh, when I take my dog for a walk. So here, shumi wa sampo to, so he likes going for a walk and 
ファッション雑誌のチェック。So, fashion is just fashion. 雑誌 is like a journal or a magazine. And then, チェック is to check something. But we can also see in definition number two, it can mean to kind of look over something. So, his hobbies are going for a walk and looking through fashion magazines. 趣味は散歩とファッション雑誌のチェックおじいさんが亡くなっていきなりお店を継ぐことになっちゃって大変だと思うけど僕たちも協力するから一緒に頑張ろうね And then he continues on with Oji san ga nakunatte. So here we can see him not using the kanji for Oji san, unlike the other speaker who is speaking a little bit more eloquently using the kanji. And this very fact, this personality difference, is actually expressed by whether you see them using kanji or not. Often younger people or even children, when they speak and it's written, they'll often not use the kanji to express this youth. But when you're a little bit more uptight and formal, for example, they might use kanji in particular to express this. So, Oji san ga nakunatte. And nakunatte. Nado is an N4 piece of language to pass away or to die. So your grandfather passed away, and then, and we can see because it's in the te form, it's continuing on. Ikinari means all of a sudden, or mise, this is the shop, or so doing something to the shop. Tsugu, this is a new piece of language at the N1. We can see this is to succeed, to take over, to inherit something. And what are they inheriting? Marked by the o particle, inheriting the shop. O mise o tsugu koto ni natchatte. So, koto ni naru means it's become a certain way, and then koto ni natchatte can be for something to completely become a certain way, or even regretfully. Taihen means difficult, da to, or mo, quoting what he thinks is difficult, and then kedo, however. So, if we put it all together, I think it would be quite difficult that you have to take over the shop all of a sudden. However, bokutachi mo kyoryok suru kara, isho ni ganbaro ne. So, bokutachi mo, us also. Kyoryoku, this means to cooperate here at the N3, a pretty common piece of language. Suru kara, so because we will be cooperating. Isho ni, together. Gambaro ne, and gambaro is to do your best. So, because we're also going to be helping out, let's all do our best together. Oji san ga nakunatte, ikinari o mise o tsugu koto ni natchatte, taihen da to mo kedo. Boku tachi mo kyoryok suru kara, isho ni gambaro ne. Doria san, saigo wa anata desu yo. Okay, and so here really emphasizing the、uh, kind of slackness of, of the other member here because Fenero actually has to kind of tell him to do his introduction. So he says, Rorie san, saigo wa anata desu yo. So, saigo wa, so saigo here is an informal piece of language to mean the last. So, as for who is last, anata, you, and here we can see him using that different kanji for the anata. So, we can see that he uses a different version of anata when referring to. To a different character. And then Desyo, he's teaching something politely. So, Rorie san, you're the last one. Rorie san, saigo wa anata desu yo. Rorie san. Hmm. Oki na koe o dasa na kute mo kikoe te iru. So, all of this language we've seen in previous videos, okina just means a big something. Koe is a voice, so with a loud voice. O dasanak temo. Dasu is to put out. Dasanak temo, without putting out. Kikoe te iru. I can hear you. So, even without putting out a loud voice, I can hear you. Okina koe o dasanak temo. Kikoe te iru. Dori e da. 好きな食べ物はサンドイッチで得意料理も同じ趣味は寝ることと。So, Rorie da, I'm Rorie. 好きな食べ物はサンドイッチで。So, サンドイッチ here is for a sandwich. で is kind of like and. 得意料理も。So, also the things I'm good at cooking. 同じ。It's the same. So, my favorite food are sandwiches, and so are what I'm good at cooking. Shumi wa, neru koto to, and then he kind of drifts off. <laughs> so, shumi wa, as for his hobbies, neru is to sleep, koto, the thing, so the thing of sleeping, and then to is and. So, my hobbies are sleeping and. Du, du, du. Rorie da. Suki na tabemono wa sandwich de. Dokui liori mo onaji. Shumi wa neru koto to. Okay, he's definitely、uh, the cheeky one here. So, okiniiri here,、uh, ki is to show interest in something, iri is to kind of have, 
so the thing you have interest in. Here we can see it can be something like your favorite, and even used like here in definition number two for your bookmarks in a web browser. It's the thing you have interest in. And so here, o kini iri no mono, so the thing or the person that he has interest in, ni to that person or that thing, chokkai o kakeru. <laughs> so chokkai here we can see being a little bit more of a rarer piece of language to meddle, to poke your nose into something, or even to make a pass at someone. And we can see when it's combined with kakeru, another use of kakeru in this video, here meaning to meddle in someone's affairs, or even to hit on someone. And then koto is the thing, so he's talking about his shumi, and then da stating that's the thing that he likes. So he likes sleeping and poking his nose into other people's uh, business, or even and, uh, yeah, <laughs> making a pass at someone. お気に入りのものにちょっかいをかけることだ。俺を働かせたかったら、それなりのご褒美はくれるんだろう。this guy's a bit of a creep, honestly. Um, so, oreo, so doing something to me. Hatarakase takatara. So, whoa, there's quite a lot going on here. So, this is a combination of hataraku, to work, in a kind of causative form, hatarakaseru, to make someone work. And then here we can see it's combined both in the tai form, to want to do. So, hatarakase tai, you want to make someone work. And then it's also in the tara form, the hypothetical. So if you want to make someone work, and who are we talking about? Ore o. So if you want to make me work. So talk about a lot of conjugation right there. Ore o hatarakase takattara sore nari no. So sore nari is in its own way. Gohobi, this is a reward. Wa, as for rewards, kureru. You will give or let one have. And then nda is explaining how it is, but here it's with daro, kind of having a guess. So he's assuming that it is the case that if you're going to make me work, you will also give me some sort of reward, right? Yeah, I definitely agree. So, yatoi nushi o, doing something to the employer. Amari, not too much. Komara senai de kudasai. So, even more conjugation here. Komaru, we saw previously to mean to kind of bother someone or to make someone kind of a bit flustered or embarrassed. Here, also in the causative form, komara seru, to make someone troubled. Here, to trouble someone with questions or even to embarrass someone, to put someone on the spot. And then it's nai de kudasai, please don't. So, please don't trouble the employer too much. ローリエさん、雇い主をあんまり困らせないでください。あははは。えっと、今挨拶した四匹がこの店で働くんだ。<laughs> that was a very awkward laugh. <laughs> so, yes, he's a creep. <laughs> you should be telling him to stop, please. Uh, anyway, <laughs> he continues on with, Eto. So, uh, let me see. Ima, right now, aisatsu shita. So, aisatsu is to welcome or to greet. Shita, did. So, the people who greeted. Yon hiki. Yon is four, and then hiki is the counter for small animals. Although they're not particularly small animals, are they? They're uh, probably fully grown adults, some of them taller than me. <laughs> um, but anyway, <laughs> we're just imagining they're cats, okay? <laughs> so, the four cats that have greeted themselves, kono mise de, at this shop, hatarakunda. We will work here. えっと、今挨拶した4匹がこの店で働くんだ。すでに回転の手続きは済ませていて準備も万端明日から問題なく回転できるのですねに okay, so first we have すでに すでに here is already 回転 is a new piece of language and this means to open up a shop and you can see it with kai here the kanji for opening and then ten is the same kanji for mise we saw for shop so opening up a shop Kaiten no tezuzuki. This is the procedures for opening up the shop. Wa, as for those procedures, sumasete ite. Even more causative, so sumu is to end something or to finish something. Sumaseru is to make or to let something end. So already the procedures for opening up the shop we've made end. Jumbi mo bantan. So jumbi is preparations. And then we have this new piece of language here. Bantan. This means everything, all. Now, normally the word for everything would be subete, but here this is a kind of common set phrase, usually used with jumbi for preparations. Jumbi wa bantan. 
preparations are complete. But here, jumbi mo bantan means preparations are also complete, here in a question. So this is a little bit more of a rarer piece of language, as you can see with the rankings. And then he continues on with, ashita kara mondai naku kaiten dekiru no desu ne. So, ashita is tomorrow, ashita kara, from tomorrow, mondai naku, here mondai nai, to not have any problems, mondai is problems, nai to not, so to not have any problems, kaiten dekiru, to be able to open up shop, no des, explaining, and then net kind of confirming. So, he's saying that preparations are all finished, right? From tomorrow, we'll be able to open up shop without any problems, right? Okay, yes, you go back to sleep so you can stop being creepy. Sore nara, if that's the case. Kyo wa, as for today. Ichi nichi, that means for the whole day. Literally, ichi is for one, nichi is day, so for one day. But as we can see, it can be used to express the whole day. And then, nete irareru. So, neru is to sleep, nete irareru means that he'll be able to sleep, and kind of be sleeping for the whole day. And then, na is kind of like, huh. So, if that's the case, I'll be able to sleep all day. Okay, so again, all of this language we've seen in previous episodes, but let's just quickly go through it. So, hmm? Huh? Kore kara? From here on. Ore tachi o? So, doing something to us. Ie ni? To the house. Annai shitai? You want to guide us or you want to show us around? So, hmm? From here on out, you want to show us around the house? Huh? Kore kara ore tachi o ie ni annai shitai? Sokka! And then Dil says, Sokka, sumikomi de hataraku koto ni narunda mon ne. So, sokka is like, so desu ka? Is that so? Or right, I see, that's right. So, it's kind of you expressing that you're realizing something. Ah, I see, that's right. Sokka. Sumikomi is another new piece of language that we probably won't see in too many other games. And this means to be a live in, normally for something like a job. So to live at the spot for the purposes of doing the job. Like for example, if you were to live on like a cruise boat or something like that, that would be sumikomi. Here, the four cat boys are gonna be living here in this cafe. So sumikomi de, with living here at the cafe, hataraku, to work, koto ni naru, it's become a certain way, nda, explaining the case. Mon is also used to express how things are. So it's like, that's the circumstances. So it's kind of explaining this is how things are. And then ne, right? So, ah, that's right. It's been decided that we'll be living in here while we work. Donna ie nandaro, tanoshimi. So, donna, what kind of, ie, house, nanda, explaining how it is, but here with daro, so I'm guessing how it is, and then tanoshimi, looking forward to it. So, oh, I wonder what kind of house it is, I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> donna ie nandaro, tanoshimi. Wow, eiga ni detekiso na ie. Wow, eiga ni detekiso na ie. So, wow. Wow, ega here is for like a movie, a motion picture. This is an N5 piece of language, which I believe we saw in the 13 Sentinels episode when they were talking about, I think it was like robot movies or something like that. So, ega ni detekiso. Now, deru we know is to appear in, detekuru is to come to appear in, so it appears to be the case, and then it's modifying ie here with na. So na ie. So, if we put it all together, it's a house that looks like it would appear in movies. Which is certainly right, it is quite a picturesque house. I definitely wouldn't be complaining if I could live in a place like that in Japan. I can't see any sight of the neighbors, nothing but trees, but this beautiful old house, that would be lovely. それに <laughs> in addition or besides that, so in addition to it looking like a house that would appear in movies, koko dake, koko here, dake only, so just here, jikan ga, so time is doing something, tomatta, to have stopped, and then mitai, it appears to be, dana, right? So in addition, just here appears like it's almost stopped in time. 
それにここだけ時間が止まったみたいだなやはりあなたのおじいさんは良い趣味をしていますね Again, we can see him using that tricky kanji. So here he says, Yahari, as expected. Anata, you, here again using the woman kanji. No, oji san, again using the kanji for grandfather. Wa, so as for your grandfather. Yoi shumi, so yoi good shumi is tastes. O shteimas, he's doing. Ne, right? So as expected, your grandfather has great taste. Yahari, Anata no oji san wa yoi shumi o shteimas ne. きっと中もこだわっているのでしょうこのような場所で寝泊まりできることに感謝しますきっと surely 中も so also the insides こだわっている and こだわる here is a new piece of language at the end one and this means to kind of be a little bit particular about something almost obsessive over it so you kind of really are fussy about the small details こだわっている and then のでしょう he's kind of making a guess an assumption about how things are so I'm sure that the inside is also very kind of particular a lot of special attention has been paid to the inside このような場所で so このような in this way 場所 a place で marking the place of action So at a place like this, ne tomari, another new piece of language, and this means to lodge at, to stay the night at something. Literally, ne do is to sleep, and then tomaru is to stay at. So to stay at somewhere to sleep. Ne tomari dekiru, to be able to sleep at a place like this, and then koto ni, so to the fact that we're able to do it, kansha shimas. I'm very grateful for. So I'm grateful that we're able to stay in a wonderful place like this. Kitto, naka mo kodawatte iru no desho. このような場所で寝泊まりできることに感謝します俺は屋根さえあればどこでもいい Damn it, he woke up. <laughs> 俺は屋根さえあればどこでもいい<laughs> So, 俺は as for me, 屋根 is a roof さえあれば as long as there is one or as long as you have one どこでも anywhere いい It's okay So, as for me, as long as there's a roof, I'm fine anywhere 俺は屋根さえあればどこでもいいうん俺も似たようなものだ And the cat that very much looks like Oren <laughs> He agrees and he says うん俺も似たようなもんだ So 俺も me also 似る is to be similar to to almost resemble something ようなもの So ような is like and then combined with mono and だ It forms this piece of grammar, something yona monoda, meaning that it's almost exactly the same. It's very, very similar. So, yeah, I'm very, very similar. And then da, stating it to be. So, yeah, I'm also a similar person. Which makes sense for a little bit more of the masculine type, right? He doesn't care where he sleeps, whereas the other cat, he doesn't care where he sleeps just because he's really lazy. Hmm. I'm like a similar person. Huh. You guys are. Whereas this guy's a little bit more fussy and he says, Anata tachiwa. So again, we can see him using this kanji that doesn't have the kanji for girl, but instead just the kanji for people when using anata. So we have definitive proof that he uses them here when referring to guys, but when referring to girls, he uses the one with the girl kanji. And then anata tachi, so you guys, wa, as for you guys. So now he's about to say something about them. And here it's almost kind of like him saying, ugh, geez, you guys. <sighs> anata tachiwa. 立ち話もなんだし、彼女に案内してもらわない And then he says, Tachibanashi mo nandashi. So, Tachibanashi here is a new piece of language, and this means to stand around talking. Literally, Tatsu is to stand, and Hanashi is to talk. And again, when we see it connected with another word, it kind of bleeds the sound, so it's banashi instead of Hanashi. Tachibanashi, standing around talking. But we can see it kind of used in this set phrase. Tachibanashi mo nandashi. Being a little bit unclear what he's talking about. So it's kind of like, standing around talking is, you know, dun dun dun. He's implying that it's probably not a good thing with Without directly stating that it's a bad thing. He's just saying, look, yeah, you know, talking around standing is kind of, you know, kanojo ni. So by her, annai shite morao nai. So annai suru to guide, shite morao is to receive something, and then morao nai, won't we or don't we? So standing around talking is kind of, you know, not good. How about having her show us around? Tachibanashi mo nan dashi, kanojo ni annai shite morao nai. そうですね。案内、よろしくお願いします。そうですね。That's right, you're right. 案内
the guiding around, yoroshiku onegaishimasu. So please do or please take care of us. So yeah, you're right. Please show us around. So desne. Annai. Yoroshiku onegaishimasu. Okay, so he's quite impressed by the interior, and here he says, Nakamo steki dane. So wa is like wow, nakamo. Also the insides, steki, this is a new piece of language, this means wonderful. Dane, desne, right? So whoa, it's also wonderful on the inside. Nakamo steki dane! はい。壁の色とヴィンテージ家具が調和して落ち着く空間を作り出しています。はい。Yes。壁の色と、そう壁 so vintage kagu ga, so the vintage furniture is chowa shite. And chowa is another new piece of language here at the N1, and this means to be in harmony. So the color of the walls and the vintage furniture is all in harmony. And ochitsuku kukan o tsukuri So ochitsuku is to relax, to feel calm. Kukan is like the space of something, like the room. O tsukuri dasu, this is a new piece of language, but it's just the combination of tsukuru to make and then dasu to kind of produce something. So here to create, to produce. So it creates a very relaxing space. And what creates a nice space? Well, that's the previous statement. The harmony of the color of the walls and the vintage furniture. Hi. ここで right here asa this is in the morning and asa no kohi that's coffee so the morning coffee o nomu so to drink the morning coffee no wa the thing of drinking the morning coffee shiawase de shou ne and shiawase is just happiness and then de shou kind of making a guess about something and then ne getting confirmation so i'm sure drinking your morning coffee here must be pure happiness I thought he was already asleep anyway. He says, Oyasumi, so good night. Yes, good night. Oyasumi. Lori wa yoku neruna. Neruko wa soratsu te yushi. Clearly the very supportive and positive character here. So Rorie wa, so as for Rorie, yoku neru na. So yoku could be to do something well, but here it's more to do something frequently or often with definition number two. Yoku neru, so he often sleeps na, right? So Rorie sleeps often, huh? And then he continues on with neru ko wa sodatsu te yushi. So neru is to sleep. Ko is like a child, wa as for, so as for a sleeping child, sodatsu is to raise or to bring up. And when it's all put together, it's actually a set phrase. Neru ko wa sodatsu, sleep brings up a child well. So this is a proverb saying that sleep is very important for the raising of a child. So he seems to almost be referencing the immaturity uh, of the cat there. Teiyu is quoting what you say, you, and then she listing reasons. So, you know, they say it's good for a child to sleep. So, nete te izo. So, nete te, to be sleeping. E, it's good. And then zo, being a little bit emphatic and pushy. So, you know what they say? Sleep is important for a child, so feel free to sleep. So, you can definitely already kind of see the flow of how the characters go, right? You have a playful, youthful one. You have a strong, positive one. You have a little bit of a fussy, intelligent one that's very serious. And then you have the really lazy, but also cheeky one. ローリエはよく寝るな。寝る子は育つって言うし、寝ていていいぞ。ソファーは座る場所であって、寝る場所ではありません。So here the serious one kind of cutting in and says, "Sofa wa 
I'm not sure what's going on with that sot there next to the N3, sorry. I don't know why my dictionary did that, but it's only for this word. It's clearly some sort of bug. Sofoa, as for sofas, suwaru is the N5 piece of language to sit, basho, a place. So it's a place to sit. Dearu here is stating how it is, but it's putting the te form because it's connecting to the next part of the sentence. So sofas are places to sit. Neru basho dewa arimasen. So neru basho, a place to sleep. Dewa arimasen. It's not. So this is the polite negative of dearu. Dewa arimasen. So sofas are a place to sit, not to sleep. I think it's totally all right. Sleep as much as you want so you don't creep us all out. Sofa wa suwaru basho de atte, neru basho de wa arimasen. Neko wa sofa de mo neru daro. Neko is a cat, wa as for cats, sofa demo, so even a sofa, neru daro. They sleep, right? So as for cats, they also sleep on sofas, right? Neko wa sofa demo neru daro. Sofa ni kagirazu, igo kochi ga yokereba doko demo neru. Tatoeba, go shujin sama no hiza to kana? Stop. <laughs> okay, being very cheeky. Sofa ni kagirazu. So ni kagirazu means not limited to. Ni kagiru is literally to be limited to something. Here used in the zu form without being. So without being limited to. So without being limited to sofas. Igokochi here is a new piece of language to feel comfort, to feel good. So igokochi ga yoi. Here with yokereba. If it's good. So if it feels good. Doko demo anywhere. Nedu, I will sleep. So it doesn't have to be sofas. I'll sleep anywhere if it feels good. Tatoeba. For example, this is apparently a new piece of language. I doubt that. <laughs> this is a very common expression here at the N4, just for an example. So, for example, Tatoeba, Goshujin sama no hiza to kana. <laughs> so, Goshujin sama is the master. I believe we've seen this already. Hiza is the knee or the lap. Toka, things like. And then na, right? So, for example, even things like master's lap. Ugh, just go away, please. I'm sorry. This this guy. This guy needs to chill. <laughs> he really needs to chill. Sofa ni kagirazu, igokochi ga yokereba doko demo neru. Tatoeba, go shujin sama no hiza to kana? Hmm, yoku wakaru. No! Don't agree with him! <laughs> no! Mm, yes, Yoku, very well. Wakaru, I understand. So yes, I understand very well. <laughs> oh no, don't be creepy. Mm, yoku wakaru. Ma, ore ga kanojo no hisa de netara, ashi ga shibirete daihen daro ga. Very good point. <laughs> so ma, well then, ore ga, I do an action, kanojo no hisa de on her knee or on her lap, netara, if I sleep. So if I slept on her lap, ashi ga shibirete. So ashi could be both for your foot, but even for your leg. Confusing, huh? <laughs> so here it's very much not the foot sleeping on her foot, it's sleeping on her leg because we saw hiza also being used to kind of sit on the lap. Ashi ga shibireru. So shibireru is an N1 piece of language, and this means to become numb. If you ever sit down in Japan, it's very common, especially in like the washitsu where there's no chairs, for example, and you sit your legs on the washitsu and then all of a sudden, ah, your leg goes to sleep. And you're like, ah, it's, it's gone to sleep. It really hurts. That here is shibireru, for your leg to fall asleep or to go numb. So ashi ga shibirete, her leg will go numb, taihen daro ga. So taihen to be troublesome, daro, right, and then ga, however. However, you know, if I sat on her legs, I'm sure it'd be tough because her legs would go numb. <laughs> Which, hey, look, this guy does kind of realize that they are huge cats. <laughs> they are not normal cats. They are fully grown adult cats. They are bigger than human cats. They're, uh, they definitely need to behave a little bit differently to normal cats. ま、俺が彼女の膝で寝たら足が痺れて大変だろうが。Okay. Bokumo, me also. Hiza de on her lap. Netai, I want to sleep. Kimochi, the feeling. Wa wakaru. I understand. Kana, I guess. So I guess I understand the feeling of wanting to sleep on her lap. Bokumo, 
膝で寝たい気持ちはわかるかな<咳>リビングは案内してもらったので次は部屋に案内してもらいましょうか Okay, Fenneru, you're the only non creepy one, I guess. So he kind of changes the subject and he says, Libingu up. So, as for the living room, Annai shite to kind of guide around. Morata, we received. No de, because. So, because we received you showing us around the living room, Tsugi wa, as for what's next, Hea ni, so to the rooms. Here, perhaps they're kind of each individual's bedrooms. Ni, Annai shite, so to guide them to. And then Morai mashoka, I guess we will receive. Or shall we receive? So I guess next, let's have you show us our rooms. Living は案内してもらったので、次は部屋に案内してもらいましょうか。僕たちが住む部屋は2階。もしかして4匹で住むのかな。So, Boktachi ga, so we're the ones doing something. Sumu is to live. Hea, so the rooms where we live. Wa, as for them, Nikai, they're on the second floor. Moshkashte, if by chance, Yon hiki de, so we have the four of us. Sumu, to live. No kana, I wonder. So, are the rooms where we're staying on the second floor? Are we going to be living there with all four of us, perhaps in the same room? Boktachi ga, sumu hea wa Nikai? もしかして4匹で住むのかなそれなら俺はリビングで寝させてもらううるさいのはまっぴらごめんだそれなら if that's the case 俺は as for me リビングで so in the living room 寝させてもらおう so I will have you let me sleep there うるさいのは so うるさい is kind of be noisy and annoying Although, honestly, I think he's the one being a bit annoying. Urusai no wa, as for the annoying ones, mappira gomenda. So, mappira here is definitely a new piece of language, as we can see, it's quite rare. Oh my god, top 300,000 on Wikipedia. Never used on Wikipedia, don't even worry about that. But it's more something used in like colloquial speech. So, not by any means. Here, flatly refusing something. And it's connected to gomen. Now, this could mean to say, I'm sorry. But actually, in this use, it's using definition number five, not wanting something, wishing to avoid something. As we can see, it's usually used when something is something wa gomenda. So, as for that, I'm objecting to it or not wanting it. And here we can see it connected to urusai no wa. So, as for the thing of being noisy, gomenda. I don't want it, I object to it. But he really objects to it because he has mappira gomenda. I completely refuse. それなら俺はリビングで寝させてもらううるさいのはまっぴらごめんだ私も勉強に集中できないのでうるさいのは困ります And then we have a bit more of a polite way of saying the same thing 私も so me also 勉強に so into my studies 集中できる to be able to focus but here 集中できない to not be able to focus ので because うるさいのは so the thing of being noisy 困ります it bothers me he's a bit inconvenienced by it so I also won't be able to focus on my studies so it bothers me being noisy 私も勉強に集中できないのでうるさいのは困りますかといってリビングで寝るというのは賛成しかねますがかといって having said that リビングで so in the living room 寝るというのは so the thing of sleeping in the living room 賛成する is to agree to something this is a pretty common word at the N3 level as we can see in the top 3000 words so to approve to something to give your support for something or even just to agree to something but it's connected here to しかねます So, this is shikaneru, to be reluctant to or to hesitate to do something. So, he kind of can't do something. And then ga, however. So, having said that, the thing of sleeping in the living room, I'm not sure that I can really agree to that. かといって、リビングで寝るというのは賛成しかねますが。俺は賑やかでいいと思うけどな。俺は、as for me, 賑やかでいいと思うけどな。So, nigiyaka here means to be kind of bright, lively, quite noisy and crowded. Nigiyaka de itomo. So, I think it would be good if it was kind of lively. Kedo na. However, so as for me, I actually kind of prefer things to be lively. Ore wa nigiyaka de itomo kedo na. 
僕もみんなでワイワイするのは好きだから、四匹一緒でいいよ。Okay, so we kind of have a split. We have the kind of private ones and we have the ones that are a little bit more open to kind of being loud together. Boku mo, me also, minna de with everyone. Wai wai suru. This is a new piece of language and this kind of means to be kind of noisy together. This is often used in a kind of positive way, like for example, when family gets together and they're all very loud and they're talking over each other and laughing and ah ha 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 ha. Having a kind of fun time, almost like a party. It doesn't necessarily have to be a negative thing like we can see with definition number two and three. Here, just kind of having fun together and being loud. So, minna de wai wai suru no wa. So, the thing of kind of having a party together with everyone, ski da kara, I like it. So, yon hiki, the four of us, isho de with the four of us, i yo, it's okay. So, as for me, I actually like if everyone's kind of having fun together. So, for the four of us, it's totally fine. Boku mo minna de wai wai suru no wa ski da kara, yon hiki isho de i yo. Eh? Nikai ni piki zutsu heya ga aru no? Oh, okay, and so we're just kind of pretending like the main character just said something and he's reacting to that. So he says, Eh, Nikai ni ipiki zutsu hea ga aru no. So, Eh, huh? Nikai ni, so on the second floor, ipiki, so one of the small animals, zutsu means each. So one each. Hea ga aru. So there is a room and then not is like this soft question particle. So, huh? You're saying that on the second floor there's a room for each of us? Eh? 2階に1匹ずつ部屋があるの助かります。助かります。So that really kind of saves us the trouble. That really helps us. 助かります。それならずっと寝てられるな。それなら、if that's the case, ずっと for the whole time, 寝てられる。To be able to sleep. なあ、はん。So, well, in that case, I'll be able to sleep the whole time. So, I'll be able to sleep the whole time. So, I'll be able to sleep the whole time. So, I'll be able to sleep the whole time. So, I'll be able to sleep the whole time. So, I'll be able to sleep the whole time. So, I'll be able to sleep the whole time. So, I'll be able to sleep the whole time. And then Dil here he suggests Seiji san, so Sage, Minna no hea ni, so to everyone's rooms, asobi ni iku, so asobi is to kind of hang out and play, ni iku is to go for the purposes of. Again, we saw a lot of this use of the ni particle in the ni video I just made, so feel free to check that out. Asobi ni ikeba i. If we go to hang out, it'll be okay, and then nda explaining. Dayo, then being kind of teaching. So he's teaching him that, hey, it's okay, we can just go hang out in their room. Seiji san, minna no hea ni asobi ni ikeba in da yo. Boku wa itz demo dai kangei da kara, kigaru ni asobi ni kite ne. Boku wa, as for me, itz demo any time, dai kangei da kara. This is another new piece of language, but kangei suru, I believe we've seen before, and this means to welcome someone. Dai is just big, so people are very welcome. Dakara, because. So, as for me, you're all very welcome anytime. So, kigaru ni asobi ni kite ne. So, kigaru ni here is another new piece of language. This is an adverb describing doing something freely, without any sense of hesitation. Asobi ni kuru is to come to hang out. So, feel free to come hang out anytime. As for me, you're welcome any time of the day. Boku wa itz demo dai kangei da kara. Thank you. Enryonaku, without hesitation, asobi ni iku. I'll go hang out. And then Zot being kind of very emphatic. So, alright, thanks. I'll go hang out anytime without hesitating. Arigato. Enryonaku, asobi ni iku. Ah. Wow, Tuksan, this means many. Hea ga aru, there are many rooms, and then net, right. So, Tuksan is really interesting because it can be used before the thing that you're saying a lot of, or even after. So, you could say Tuksan hea ga aru, or you could say hea ga Tuksan aru. You can kind of switch it up. Ah, Tuksan hea ga aru ne! うん、一番奥
右手の部屋はおじいさんが使ってた書斎でそこは遠慮してほしいんだふんーはあ、一番奥、so、一番 is the very most 奥 is the back so at the very very back so the room at the very back 右手 that means the right hand 右 is for right 手 for your hand so the right hand の部屋 room は as for the room on the right おじいさんが使ってた。So the grandfather used it. And this is all modifying 書斎 This is for a study. Like a den. Like, you know, the study room. So おじいさんが使ってた書斎 is the study that her grandfather used. And then de connecting to the next part of the sentence. So the room at the very back on the right hand side is the study room that your grandfather used. そこは as for there, 遠慮してほしいんだ。So, endyosuru to reserve, to hold back. Te hoshi means you want someone to do something, so you want someone to hold back. Nda explaining the case. So, ha,、ah, so it's the case that the room at the very far back in the right is the room that her grandfather used for his study. So, she wants us to hold back and not go there. Huh? <laughs> お前はどこの部屋を使ってるんだお前は、as for you, どこ、where, どこの部屋、so which room を使ってる。which room are you using? and then んだ、seeking explanation. so what room are you using? お前はどこの部屋を使ってるんだ書斎の向かいそれなら俺はお前の隣だな。Ah, I see. He was talking to the main character. So he says, Shosai no mukai. So, Shosai, the study, no mukai. That means the other side. So, the room on the opposite side of the study. Sore nara. If that's the case, ore wa. As for me, omae no tonari da na. So, omae no tonari. Tonari is the side, kind of next door neighbors, next to. Dana is right. So, where's your room? The opposite side of the study. In that case, my room will be right next to yours. Oh no. Shosai no mukai? Sore nara ore wa omae no tonari da na. Ah, Rorie san zurui! Ah, Rorie san zurui! So, zurui means that it's unfair. It's kind of sly or cunning. It's sneaky. He's definitely a sneaky one. So, hey, that's unfair. Zurui. Ah, Rorie san zurui! Ayai mono gachida. Waruku omo na yo. Hayai mono gachida. So, hayai means to be early, to be quick. Mono is the person. Kachi, here read as gachi, is victory, to win. So almost like the early bird catches the worm. Hayai mono gachi da. Waruku omou na. Waruku means to be bad, omou, to think, and then na, don't. And then yo here teaching something. So, hey, look, the early bird gets the worm. Don't think badly about me. Hayai mono gachi da. Waruku omou na yo. この中で俺といい勝負ができそうなのはフェンネルだがまあ俺の一人勝ちだろう And so the battle begins it seems So この中でこの中 This means among these 俺と with me いい勝負 E is good 勝負 is a battle And put it together is kind of to have a good battle An equal match Kind of a worthy rival ができそうなのは、so as for the one who seems able to be able to be a good rival, はフェンネルだが、so it's Fenu, however, まあ、well, 俺の一人勝ちだろう。so まあ、well, 俺の、mine, 一人勝ち、this means to be the sole victor, and then だろう、I guess. so, well, I guess I'm gonna beat everyone. この中で俺といい勝負ができそうなのはフェンネルだが、まあ、俺の一人勝ちだろう彼女の飼い猫になりたいのなら自分が有用だと彼女に示せばいいのですもちろんそれを示せる自信が私にはあります Here we go, and here we can kind of see the whole kind of focus of this game So these cats are trying to fight to be owned by the master here being the main character So they're fighting for her attention, they're fighting for her being their owner And this is very true for the original Nekopara as well, where you have the main character guy and you have four cat girls, for example. They're kind of doing the same thing. They're fighting for him to choose which one is going to be his pet. 
See here, Fennel says, Kanojo no kaineko ni naritai no nara. So, kau here is a verb to keep something as a pet, but it's connected to neko. So, kaineko, the must stem connected to the noun. So, a cat that you keep. Ni naritai no nara. So, if you want to become her cat, jibun ga yu yo datto. So, jibun one's self ga yu yo. This is a new piece of language. This means to be useful or helpful. You is actually the kanji for aru to exist, to have, and then yo is use. So literally to have use. Jibun ga yu yo datto. So the fact that you are useful, kanojo ni to her, shimese ba i no desu. So shimesu is to show, to exhibit, ba i, it would be good if you did it, and then no desu. He's explaining in a polite way. So he's explaining that you should show to her that you have use. Mochiron, of course, sore, that, o shimeseru, to be able to show, jishin, confidence, kind of self confidence, ga watashi ni wa, so as for in me, arimasu, I have. So, of course, to have the confidence to be able to show that, I have that. Kanojo no kaineko ni naritai no nara, jibun ga yu yo da to kanojo ni shimese ba ino desu. Mochiron, sore o shimeseru jishin ga watashi ni wa arimasu. Okay, so this guy's not very interested in fighting. Interesting. Even though he's dressed up like a samurai, he says, mm, So, arasoi is like some sort of conflict or battle. Kara is from, and then wa as for. So, as for from battle or some sort of conflict, nani mo, nothing. Umarenai. And umareru is to be born. So nothing is born, nothing is created, nothing comes out of conflict. And then zo, he's being a bit pushy. So, hey guys, I don't think anything comes out of conflict. Mm. Ore wa, as for me, and then sekkaku can be used in two different ways. The first one is to show something at great pains with trouble to do something. But the second use is for something to be almost a rare occasion, something that perhaps is long awaited or just something that doesn't happen too often. Here referring to this situation of all four of them being together in this cafe. So it's kind of a rare opportunity. Nara, if it's the case, yon hiki de. So with the four of us, nakayoku shitai na. So nakayoku is to get along well together. Shitai, he wants to do. So hey, I want to get along together with everyone. Let's not have any conflict. So he's definitely the type that's always really positive about things. Boku so with Seiji san, sanse, I agree. So I agree with Seiji san. Zain de. So Zain here means everyone, literally, Zen is for everything, In is for the members, so all of the people here. De with everyone, Kanojo no kaineko ni. So to her cat, Nareba i, it would be good if we could all become Njanai, isn't it the case? So wouldn't it be great if we could all become her cat? Bokumo Seiji san ni sanse! Demo Oh, however, Kainekoninatara, if I become her cat, Boku o so doing something to me, Ichiban, number one, Nishte Kureru to make me number one, to ureshi na. So I would be happy if. So if I become her cat, I'd be really happy if she made me her number one. Ah, demo, kaineko ni natta ra, boku o ichiban ni shite kureru to ureshi na. Doushita no? Nanda ka tomadotta kao o shiteru kedo. Okay, so the main character has this weird kind of scribbly thing, so they seem to be a bit confused. So here, Dil says, Doushita no? What's wrong? Nanda ka, somewhat. Tomadotta kao? So tomado here is a new piece of language. This means to be perplexed. It's relatively common. So tomadota kao, a perplexed face or steru to be doing or to be having kedo. However, so what's up? You have a bit of a perplexed look on your face. Doshitano? Nanda ka tomadota kao steru kedo. Hmm. Bokutachi minna. お店を手伝いに来てくれただけだと思ってたから 
飼い猫って言われて戸惑っちゃったんだ。僕たちみんな、そう、all of us。お店を、so doing something to the shop, 手伝い、this means to help, to give your help to something, に来てくれた、so to have come to do something, だけ、only, だと思ってた、so you thought that they were only coming to help with the shop, から、so, 飼い猫って、so having a kind of ownership of a cat, 言われて、to be said that, 戸惑っちゃったんだ。So that's why you're a bit perplexed. Because you thought we're only going to come to help out with the shop, not become her cats. うん。僕たちみんな、お店を手伝いに来てくれただけだと思ってたから、飼い猫って言われて戸惑っちゃったんだ。もしかして、学校から何も説明されてないもしかして、if by chance, 学校から、学校 is a school から from, so from the school, 何も、nothing, 説明されてない。So 説明 is to explain something, さるる to be explained, てない wasn't. So if by chance, you weren't explained anything from school? もしかして、学校から何も説明されてない<笑>そっか。じゃあ、戸惑うのも無理ないよね。そっか、I see. じゃあ、well then, 戸惑うのも。So the thing of being perplexed also, 無理ないよね。It can't be helped. 無理 kind of means to be too much, to be unreasonable, but 無理ない means to not be unreasonable. So it's not unreasonable that you're a bit perplexed because you have no idea what's going on. そっか、じゃあ、戸惑うのも無理ないよね。念のため確認させてください。猫が学校に入って知識と生きるスキルを身につけることはあなたも知っていますよね。Okay, and then Fennel says, 念のため確認させてください。So, 念のため means just in case, just to kind of make sure of something. 確認する is to confirm something. So, just in case I want to confirm, and it's 確認させてください。So, saseru, we're seeing so much causative language in this episode. Saseru is to make or to let me do something. Te kudasai, please. So, please let me confirm something, just in case. Neko ga, so the cat's doing something. Gakko ni hai de, so entering into school. Chishiki, here, there's a new piece of language for knowledge or information here at the end. Three, pretty common piece of language. Chishiki to ikiru skiru. So, ikiru to live, skiru is obviously a skill, so the skills of living as well as knowledge. O, mini skeru, so this is literally to apply to one's self, mi for oneself, and skeru to kind of apply. But this just means to learn or to acquire something. Koto wa, so as for the thing. So, as for the thing of cats going to school to obtain knowledge and skills to live, anata mo shite imasu yo ne. So, anata mo, you also, shiru here is to know something, here in the polite progressive form, shite imasu. And then yo ne, that's how it is, right? So, I just want to make sure that you're aware that cats go to school to learn knowledge as well as life skills, right? 念のため確認させてください。猫が学校に入って知識と生きるスキルを身につけることはあなたも知っていますよね。さすがにそれは知っていましたか。And because she nodded, he says, さすがにそれは知っていましたか。So, sasuga is like as expected. It's almost like a little bit of a compliment, like, oh, yes, of course, of course you know. Sasuga ni sore wa, as for that, shite imashita ka. So, oh, as expected, you knew about that, huh? さすがにそれは知っていましたか生徒は飼い主か雇い主を見つけることで学校を卒業することができます。And then he continues on with 生徒は So as for students, 生徒 And he's going to be adding some information about students, explaining something because he uses the what particle. As for students, 飼い主か雇い主 So now we see a new combination of the words we've already seen in this episode here. Kai nushi. Kai, we know, comes from kao, to keep a pet. Nushi here is kind of like the lord or the master. So the master who owns something, the pet keeper, the pet owner, kai nushi. Ka, or yatoi nushi, the employer, o mitsukeru, so to find either an owner or an employer, koto de, with that thing, gakko, so doing something to school, sotsugyo suru, to graduate. Koto ga dekimasu. You're able to do. So by finding either an owner or an employer, 
students are able to graduate from school. 生徒は飼い主か雇い主を見つけることで学校を卒業することができます早く卒業する猫がいれば遅く卒業する猫もいるぞ Oh, and there's an interesting piece of N3 grammar here with a combination of something ga, ba, something mo. Dun, dun, dun. This was a really tricky one for me to find for the grammar video. So, hayaku is early, sotsugyo suru to graduate, neko cat ga ireba, if they exist. So, this is the hypothetical form of iru to exist, ireba. If there is a cat who graduates early, or soku, late, sotsugyo suru neko, a cat that graduates late, mo. Iru. They also exist. So if there's cats who graduate early, there are also cats that graduate late. So,学校でいろんなことを学べるのは楽しいんだけど、やっぱり猫だからね。自分を心から愛してくれる飼い主や雇い主に出会うことを心待ちにしてるんだ。So, で at school, Ironna various koto things o manaberu. So manabu is to learn something or to like take lessons in something, to study something. This is a really common piece of language at the end three. Manaberu no wa. So the thing of being able to learn, this is here in the potential form. Tanoshi, it's fun. Ndakedo, however. So it's fun being able to learn various things at school, however. Yappari neko dakara ne. So yappari as expected. Neko a cat dakara because ne right. Jibun o so doing something to oneself. Kokoro kara so kokoro is one's heart. Kara from so from your heart. Aishite kureru so here aisuru is the verb to love. But here it's aishite kureru so to receive love from someone. Kainushi so the owner. Ya yatoi nushi so the employer. Ni deao to meet. Koto the thing so the thing of meeting. An owner or an employer who loves you with their heart. <laughs>、uh, that's not how employers are supposed to work, but okay. <laughs> kokoro machi ni shiteru n da. So here, kokoro machi means to be anticipating something, expecting something. Ni shiteru, so he was doing this, and then n da is explaining. So he's explaining that they were kind of expecting that because they're cats, they really want to find an owner or a master who loves them with their heart. Gakkou de i r o n a koto o manaberu no wa tanoshi n da ke do. やっぱり猫だからね。自分を心から愛してくれる飼い主や雇い主に出会うことを心待ちにしてるんだ。だから君がそうなるんじゃないかって期待しちゃって。だから、that's why, 君が、so you're the one doing something, そうなる、so to become in that way, んじゃないか、isn't it that, て、then quoting how you 期待しちゃった。or here in the te form, 期待しちゃって。Now, kitai suru here is to expect something. This is the much more common way of saying to expect something. And he regretfully did it with s h c h a t e So he's explaining, da kara, that's why we kind of expected that you would become in that way. Da kara, kimi ga so naru n j a n a i ka t e k i t a i s h c h a t e Uh, a y a m a r a n a k t e i y o k i t a i s h c h a t e b o k t a c h i m o w a r i n d a s i Uh, 謝らなくていいよ。So, うん、no, 謝る is an N4 piece of language here to apologize. 謝らなくていい means you don't need to apologize. なくていい means without doing, it's okay. So, literally, without apologizing, it's okay. You don't need to apologize. And then you're teaching. So, no, it's okay. You don't have to apologize. 期待しちゃった僕たちも悪いんだし。So, 期待しちゃった僕たち、us who expected, も also 悪い to be bad or at fault, and then n d a explaining, she listing a reason. So he's listing a reason why it's okay because it's also their fault because they expected it of her. So, sore nara, if that's the case, sore de, with that, mondai nai, it's no problem. So, even so, that's no problem. Sore nara, sore de, mondai nai. Rorie san? Koitz wa kissa ten o son zok sase tai. Demo hito de ga tari nai. Know how mo nai. 
Damn, he's just ripping right into the main character. So koitsu wa, as for this person. Kissaten. Ah, this is a really useful, interesting piece of language here at the N5 level that is a new word. And this is really useful because this is the word for kind of like a coffee shop. If you type in kissaten into Google Maps, for example, you'll find all these cute little coffee shops around. Normally you might write, for example, like cafe, like a cafe. But kissaten has a little bit more of this kind of old style feel to it. You can find some really nice retro coffee shops around in Japan just by typing this word in. Kisaten. So kisaten o, so doing something to this coffee shop, and then sonzoku sasetai. So sonzoku here is an N1 piece of language to continue on something. And then here is sasetai. So this person wants to continue on the coffee shop. Demo, however. Hito de, hito means person, te often is for hand, but here it's more for like work. As we can see in definition number three, labor or manpower. So workers, aids. Hito de ga tarinai. Tariru is to be sufficient, tarinai to not be sufficient. So she doesn't have enough workers. And also, no hao mo nai. <laughs> so damn, how does he know that? No hao is the know how, how to do things. Also, mo nai doesn't exist. So she also doesn't even know what she's doing. <laughs> Man. This guy's a bit of a dick. Koitsuwa kissa ten o sonzoku sasetai. Demo hito de ga tarinai. Know how mo nai. Kosha ni kanshite wa ore tachi mo shiroto da na. Kore kara manabeba ii da ro? Okay, now he's getting a lot of new language. Kosha here is to refer to the last part of what he said, the latter part. So he was referring to know how. Know how. And then ni kansuru is regarding. So, as for regarding the latter part, having know how, ore tachi mo as also shiroto da ga. And now, shiroto here is an N2 piece of language to mean an amateur. This is usually something of someone not skilled at something, kind of a novice at something. So, as for the latter thing, we're also amateurs, however, da ga, however, kore kara, from here on, manabe ba. So, now the ba form of manabu to learn. So, if we learn, E, it's good, daro, right? So it'd be fine if we learnt from here on, right? Kosha,に関しては俺たちも素人だな。これから学べばいいだろう。ローリエさんの言う通りです。ローリエさんの言う通りです。So you tori, this is a new piece of language. You is to say, and then tori here is to go as. So to go as was said. So as you can see, it means as was said, as someone says. And here it's ローリエさんの言う通り. So it's just as ローリエさん said. ローリエさんの言う通りです。彼女の飼い猫になりたいのなら、自分が言うようだと彼女に示せばいい。Kanojo no kaineko ni naritai no nara. So Kanojo no kaineko, her cat ni naritai, wanting to become no nara if it's the case. So if it's the case you want to become her pet, jibun ga yuyo da to. So the fact that you are useful, Kanojo ni to her, shimeseba i. You should just show her. Kanojo no kaineko ni naritai no nara. Jibun ga yuyo da to Kanojo ni shimeseba i. Saisho wa sono ki ga naktemo. Damn, okay, so they're just gonna manipulate her into kind of working hard so they change her mind. Alrighty then. Saisho wa, as for the beginning, sono ki, so feeling in that way. Ki here is kind of representing feeling as we've seen already in this episode. So to feel in that way, ga nak demo, even if they don't. So even if in the beginning she doesn't feel that way, yu yo na neko de areba. So if you are a cat that is useful, kao to yu kimochi ni narimasu. So kao is like let's, it's like the volitional form of kao to keep a pet. But when it's followed by the to particle, it's often kind of quoting the volition to do an action, like the will to do an action. Here it's the will to keep someone as a pet. Toyu kimochi, so the feelings that ni narimasu, she will become. So if you're a useful cat, she could develop feelings that she wants to keep you as her pet. Certainly. 
2匹ともしっかり考えてるんだな。So, hmm's like, oh, 2匹 now we have for two small animals. Tomo, however, is both of them. So, both of the two of you. Shikari, this is apparently a new piece of language to do something kind of strongly, properly, to do something well. When something is really built very kind of structurally sound and properly, that's like shikari, like a bridge. Maybe you see a bridge that's like really, it's definitely not going to fall apart. That's shikari. So, it's like strongly built. Here, definition number three to do something properly, shikari kangaeteru. To be thinking about something properly. And then, n d a n a explaining it's the case, huh? So, huh, both of you guys will think about this quite properly, huh? Hmm. Two hikis are still thinking about it. The dog is a very nice animal. I'm going to be able to do that. The dog is a very nice animal. I'm going to be able to do that. The dog is a very nice animal. I s a r e d to be loved, ikimono da. Now, ikimono, I believe this is something we saw in the previous Pokemon episodes for a living thing, a creature, a living creature, life. And then da stating to be. So, as for cats, neko wa. Now, at giving information about cats, they are something that is loved by everyone. Sochi, in that way, ho men is like direction, so in that way, in that direction, de with that way, go shujin sama, the master, Oh, so, doing something to the master, sono ki, so that kind of feeling, ni saseru, so to make her have that kind of feeling, te, now quoting what kind of, ho ho, way or method, mo, also, aru to exist, and then ze being emphatic. So, there are also ways to make her feel that way. Neko wa minna ni ai sareru ikimono da. So, chi no ho men de. ご主人様をその気にさせるって方法もあるぜ例えばこんな風に尻尾をご主人様の体に巻きつけて I'm sorry guys I don't like this guy this guy is a creep creepy 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 creep 例えば for example 例えば for example こんな風に so in this way こんな is like this Fu is like in a certain way, so in this way, shippo, that is a tail, so the tail of a cat, o, so doing something to the tail, go shujin sama, the master, no karada, so the master's body, ni to the master's body, makitsukeru, to kind of wrap around. So, oh man, it's just so creepy to think about. He's just wrapping his tail around the poor girl. Man, just, just, just chill, please, man, just, just go away. <laughs> This guy is officially no longer the lazy type. He is very much the f- forceful type, I would say. He's the he should be behind bars type. <laughs> 例えばこんな風に尻尾をご主人様の体に巻きつけて。にゃあって泣いて甘えてその気にさせるとかな。<laughs> Nyan is,、um, he said in a very repulsive way, is meow. <laughs> this is a new word. <laughs> Nyan.、Uh, normally, this is used in less repulsive ways.、Uh, Nyan is just to say meow. But Nyan here said in a very uh, um, suggestive way, Nyan. <laughs> Te is now quoting how he. Naite. So, Naku here is actually to give a cry. This is something I'm surprised we haven't seen yet in Pokemon because this is when you kind of make a noise, like a cat making a noise. Naku is the verb here to make that noise. As we can see, it can be to cry, to whine, to sing, to chirp, to make a sound. So, to make the sound of Nyan. <laughs> Amaeru is another new piece of language here at the N1, and this can be to either behave like a spoiled child. To fawn on someone, to take advantage of someone, or to presume something upon someone. Neither of these are good situations. So to fawn on her with a really creepy nyan, sono ki ni saseru, so to make her feel that way. I'm sorry, man. I don't think that nyan is gonna make her feel that way. I think she's gonna kick you in the face. Tokana. Things like, I guess. Nyan. Te naite amaete. その気にさせるとかなお、大丈夫 And she just died. The end. <laughs> Thanks, Doria. You just killed the main character.、Um, so she seems to have fallen down or something. What? Daijobu? Huh? Are you okay? No! Kick this cat out of my house! お、大丈夫 
彼女を困らせないでくださいと何度も言いましたよね。Yes, you did, and I think this cat needs some handcuffs. 彼女を、so doing something to her, 困らせないでください。So please don't trouble her. と、so quoting what he 何度も many times 言いました。He said, よね。So he's teaching and getting confirmation. So I told you many times already, don't trouble her, right? No, lock him up. <laughs> to trouble her. Neko rashiku. So, neko, a cat, rashiku is in the way of. So, like a cat. アピールする is to kind of appeal to someone. This is an interesting piece of Japanese because we don't usually say in English that you make an appeal like a cat. That doesn't really make much sense. So this is kind of a little bit like Japanese English, really. Here it's to kind of either make a plea for something, to request of something, or even kind of to show your allure or attractiveness in some way. It could even be used, for example, when you're like doing a job interview where you're kind of trying to show your strengths. Here he's trying to appeal as a cat, and then Dake only duh, stating the case. So, troubling her? No, I was just appealing as a cat. Man, this guy takes no responsibility for his actions. <laughs> well, shabete tara. So, shaberu here is to talk, to chatter. And here in the tara form, so if or when. So, when I talk like this, nemuku natte kita. So, I've become sleepy. Nemui to be sleepy. Kunaru to become. And then te kita have come to become. And then she listing more reasons. So, well, talking like this has made me sleepy. So, hea de ne sase te morao. So, hea de in the room, ne sase te morao. I will have you let me sleep. Yes, please go and sleep in the room, lock the door, keep him in there, and let's just、uh, call the cops. <laughs> <laughs> Mataku, karewa. So, mataku is like, geez, karewa as for him. So, geez, that guy. Mataku, karewa. Ma, ma, nekorashi to yeba, nekorashi yo ne. No, stop supporting these actions. <laughs> This guy, he is a creep in disguise. Ma, ma well, nekorashi in a cat way, toyeba, if you were to say, nekorashi yo ne. It was kind of like a cat, right? No, cats are not so creepy. Although, I guess if you think about it, cats are a little bit like they do whatever they want, right? They do kind of cuddle up to you if they want, but in less creepy ways. <laughs> まあ、猫らしいといえば猫らしいよねいきなりのことで彼女が混乱してるし今日はここでお開きにしない Sounds great. So, いきなり all of a sudden のこと so it's a thing で with so with this being all of a sudden 彼女が、so she is doing something, 混乱してる、so 混乱 is to be kind of disorder and a chaos, kind of how I'm feeling right now, a bit too much. And then she, what's more, 今日は、so as for today, ここで、with this, お開きにしない、so お開き here is a new piece of language that we can see that's not too common, but this means to kind of break up something, like for example, breaking up a party or some sort of meeting, kind of putting a close to it. However, when used in this expression, お開きにする we can see it also kind of means to call it a night, so to kind of let's, you know, put To end here, let's just call it an end, let's call it a night for now. So, o h i r a k i ni s h i n a i why don't we call it a night? I k i n a r i no koto de kanojo ga konran してるし kyo wa koko de o h i r a k i ni s h i n a i So desu ne. No, Diru kun wa dono hea ni shimasu ka? So desu ne, that's right. Ah, Diru kun wa, so as for Dil, dono hea ni shimasu ka? So, which room will you choose? So desu ne. No, Diru kun wa dono hea ni shimasu ka? Mmm, ja, Rorie san no tonari ni suri yo. Ah, so this guy seems to kind of almost look up to Rorie. He wants to be like Rorie, kind of. Ja, well then, Rorie san no tonari, so next to him, ni suru, so kind of to make, to decide on, and then yo teaching, so I'll choose to be next to Rorie. Mmm, 
じゃあローリエさんの隣にするよでは私は一番階段に近い部屋にしますでは well then 私は as for me 一番 the most 階段 here is the stairs as we can see behind there's the stairs に Chikai, so Chikai is to be close to Heya, the room ni shimas. He will choose. So, well then, as for me, I will choose the room that's nearest the stairs. Deva, what a shiwa ichiban kaidan ni chikai heya ni shimas. Sore nara, fenneru no tonari ni suruzo. Sore nara, if that's the case, fenneru no, so next to fennel, tonari ni suru. I'll choose next to him and then zo, being emphatic. So we can see he's like the emphatic positive guy. Probably the least creepiest of the bunch, I'd say. それならフェンネルの隣にするぞこれで全員、部屋が決まりましたね。これで全員、so、これで、with this 全員、all of them、部屋が、so the rooms、決まりましたね。So we've decided, 決まる is to decide on. So, well, I guess with this, the rooms have been decided. これで全員。部屋が決まりましたねえあ、さっきの飼い猫の話なんだけどうん、yeah、あ、oh さっきの飼い猫の話なんだけど so さっき is like just previously の飼い猫 so being the cat of someone の話 so the conversation about being someone's cat なんだけど so なんだ it is that and then けど however this is a kind of way to kind of bring up a topic なんだけど About this, however, so here, as for about talking about the conversation about being a cat for someone. And here he seems to be kind of saying out loud what the main characters said. We're kind of not seeing what the main character is saying, instead, we're hearing it through the characters here talking about it. So, imasugu, this means right away. Niwa, as for right away. Kimerare nai, unable to decide, kedo, however. Mae muki, this means to be kind of positive. This is a great word for seiji. Sage is definitely mae muki. This is very positive. Mae is ahead, muki is to kind of face. So, to face ahead, right? Being very forward thinking, very, very positive. And then it's mae muki ni. Kangaetai. So, this is actually turning Mae Muki into almost like an adverb because it's modifying Kangaeru to think and it's how you're thinking. You're thinking positive li. Mae Muki ni Kangaeru. Here, Tai want to. So, you can't decide right away however you want to think about it in a positive way. Dakara, that's why. Jikan ga time hoshi, you want time. So, that's why you need some time. Ima sugu ni wa kimerare nai kedo. だから時間が欲しい。うん、そう言ってくれるだけですごく嬉しいよ。うん、そう言ってくれるだけですごく嬉しいよ。So、うん、いや、そう言って、so I'm happy, and then you're teaching the information. So, yeah, just you saying that for me really makes me happy. Alright, and then a little bit more new vocabulary here from Fenneru. So, Gakko Gawa, Gakko is school, and then Gawa is like the side. So, from the school's side, kara from haken kikan. Haken is like dispatch. This is something you'll definitely see if you come teaching Japanese as an English teacher, for example, as you may have to deal with haken gaisha, a dispatch company, someone who kind of sends you to different schools around Japan. Haken dispatch. Kikan is like the period. So, the period of being dispatched. Haken kikan o moke rare te imasen. So, mokeru here is a new piece of language at the N1 that can mean either to prepare. To provide, or even to set up or establish. So he's explaining that because we didn't get a dispatch time from the school. By her, kaitai, to want to keep someone as a pet, to 
itte, so to say, and then to is marking exactly what she says, moraeru, to receive, yo, in order that, or in order to, doriokushimasu. And this is to kind of endeavor, to really make an effort to do something. So if we put it all together, he will endeavor so that he can have her say that she wants to keep them. それで with that zain everyone kaineko ni naretara if we're all able to become your cat shiawase dana that's happiness それで zain kaineko ni naretara shiawase dana mazu wa kissaten no tetsudai desu ashita ga shonichi na node minasan ganbarimashou mazu wa first things first kissaten no tetsudai desu so kisaten the coffee shop tetsudai the help around and then des stating something politely so first thing we got to help around with the coffee shop ashita ga shonichi na no de so ashita ga as for tomorrow shonichi the first day na no de explaining because it's the case minasan everyone ganbarimashou let's do our best mazu wa kisaten no tetsudai desu ashita ga shonichi na no de minasan ganbarimashou hai Oh! Shizukani. Oh man, just no! <laughs> he says, be quiet. <laughs> Shizukani. Shizukani. Shikashi, I kinari negairi o utsu to a omoana katta na. Ayauk tatakareru tokoro datta zai. And then he continues on with shikashi. Now this could be however, but here it's more like anyway. Ikinari, all of a sudden. Negaeri, this is a new piece of language. So we know neru is to sleep and kaeru is like to change. And as we can see, to kind of change your sleep here is to turn over in a bed. It's kind of tossing and turning, that type of thing. It can also even mean definition number two, betrayal. <laughs> but that's definitely not what's happening right here. Here he's kind of saying that the girl is turning over in her bed. Negaeri or Utsu, so to turn over in one's sleep, to wa omoa nakatta. So I didn't think that you were going to turn over in your sleep. Ayaoku, so this comes from ayaoi. As we can see here with definition number one, it can mean to be dangerous or facing imminent danger, particularly when used with ayaoi tokoro. And that's exactly how it's being used here. However, it has tatakareru put in the middle of it. And tataku is to be hit, to be kind of striked or slapped or something. Tokoro datta means it was just in the kind of place where he was about to get slapped. So I didn't think you were going to turn over in your sleep. You almost hit me. That's a good question. Hmm? Huh? Nande? Why? Jibun no hair, so one's own room, ga aru, it exists, no ni, despite. So despite me having my own room, tonari de, next door, neteru, to be sleeping, no ka, a question, and then te, quoting what he heard the main character say. So, huh? You're saying, why am I sleeping in the next room when I have my own room? So kokoga here is nedoko. This means a bed or a bedroom. Dakara because and then da stating. So I'm here because it's a bedroom. Yeah, 
So, Neko wa, as for cats, itsu demo, anytime, doko demo, anywhere, nedareru, are able to sleep, kara, because or since, heya de, so in the room, nedemo, even if he sleeps, kamawanai, he doesn't care, nda, he's explaining, and then ga, however. Yappari, after all, igokochi, we saw for comfortable, no i, so to be good, so something that is comfortable, and this is connected to basho, a place, so a place that is comfortable, de, marking place of action, neru, to sleep, here with netta ho ga, so ho is almost like the direction of, the way of, so more than something else. Gusuri, this is a new piece of language, and it's particularly used with things like neru, to sleep, here to sleep soundly. So this is an N3 piece of language to express sleeping soundly. Gusuri nemureru. He's able to sleep soundly. Kara because, and then na, a bit more of a masculine ne. So after all, if it's a comfortable place, it's much better to sleep there. Neko wa itsu demo doko demo nerareru kara, heya de nete mo kamaanai nda ga. Yappari igokochi no ii basho de neta hou ga, gussuri nemureru kara na. Omae no soba, so omae, you, no, your, soba, beside you, so by your side, ga, ichiban, it's number one, yoku, well, and then nemureru, he's able to sleep. So by your side is the best place to sleep. Omae no soba ga ichiban, yoku nemureru. Odoroiteru no ka? Odoroiteru no ka, so odoroku is to be surprised at something, no ka is like asking a question, so are you surprised, huh? Omae wa, as for you, ore no mine, okini iri da. Now we saw okini iri at the beginning of this episode, and this means to be in one's liking, to be someone's kind of favorite. So are you surprised? Almost here saying, you're my type, you're to my liking, you're my favorite. Odoroiteru no ka? Soyate in that way, ore no gendo, so ore no mine, gendo, this is a new piece of language and this means speech and conduct, so the things people say and the things people do, gendo ni, so to his speech and conduct, sugu, immediately, Hanno suru, so this is like to react or respond to, so to react or respond to his words and actions straight away, no ga, the thing of that, mite te, to then see, omoshiroi, it's interesting. So he's saying, it's interesting to see you react to my words and actions like that. So yatte ore no gendo ni sugu hanno suru no ga, mite te omoshiroi. Ore wa itazura suki da kara, so definitely the playful type here. Ore wa, as for me, itazura zuki. So itazura here can mean many different things. Here we have definition number one, mischief, prank, tricks. It could be a little bit naughty or cheeky, as well as some other things. But in this situation, he's more just saying that he's a bit cheeky, he's a bit mischievous. So I'm a bit playful, I'm a bit mischievous. Dakara, that's why. Omae mitai na ningen. So omae mitai like you, na ningen. So a human like you, ga konomi. And this is to be to one's liking, to be one's preference. And then nanda, he's explaining. So that's why, because I'm a little bit cheeky, I like people like you. Ore wa itazura suki da kara. Omae mitai na ningen ga konomi nanda. Omae wa douda, so how about you? Ore no yona neko, so cats like me wa kirai ka? Do you hate them? So kirai is to hate and then cut the question. So how about you? Do you hate cats like me? Omae wa douda, ore no yona neko wa kirai ka? Yes, he's definitely a bit of the cheeky type. So, how kotaeru is to answer or reply. Tara i, so how you should do something. So, how it is that you should reply. No ka, the question. Te, now quoting what kind of kao, 
the face or shiteru to be doing and then na ha. So you have this kind of look on your face that you're not sure how you should answer. Omae no komaru kao. So omae no yo komaru kind of troubled kao face. Kirai to hate janai. He doesn't. So I don't hate your troubled face. Uh, I'm gonna say man it's a bit creepy when you're, you're really trying to make someone feel that way but okay. Okay, hora. Uh, come on, motto more chikaku close koi to come. So come on, come closer. Ah, kore nara gusuri nemure soda. So, kore nara, if it's the case like this, gusuri soundly nemure so, to seem to be able to sleep soundly, and then da, stating the case. So, ah, if it's like this, I'll be able to sleep soundly. Okay, so after sneaking out of uh, the very forceful cat trying to sneak into my bedroom and they fell asleep, so we managed to escape out. Uh, and here uh, we kind of see Fennel outside uh, kind of asking what's going on. He says, Ah, anata desu ka? So, oh, you. Konna jikan ni. So at a time like this, dou shitan desu? What's up? Ah, oh, anata desu ka? Konna jikan ni dou shitan desu? ローリエさんが隣で寝ていて眠れそうにないんですねローリエさんが so he's the one doing an action tonaride so next to neteite so sleeping next to nemuresouninai so we know nemureru is to be able to sleep souninai means that you kind of don't show any signs of being able to do you're very unlikely to be able to do something. And then Ndes explaining the case and then net kind of confirmation. So, huh, with Laudia's son sleeping next to you, you don't seem able to sleep, huh? Laudia's son is sleeping next to you, and you don't sleep so much. I understand. I understand. I'll kill him. Wakarimashita. I understand. Watashiga. So I'll be the one doing something. Kare o. So kare is him. O doing something to him. And then okoshite kimasho. So okosu is to wake someone up. Here with te kuru to come to do something with masho, the volition, the will to do an action. So well then, I'll wake him up. Wakarimashita. Watashi ga kare o okoshite kimasho. Nan desu ka? ぐっすり眠っているから起こすのはかわいそう。何ですか? What is it? ぐっすり寝ているから So ぐっすり寝ている Sleeping soundly から Because 起こす To wake him up のは The thing of waking him up And then we have this new piece of language that's quite common at the N3 level かわいそう Poor or pitiable Now this word is most learners definitely come across when they're trying to conjugate かわいい for cute and they're trying to use it with saw to appear to be, many learners will make a mistake by trying to use them together and say kawaii saw, but you can't do that in Japanese. As you can see, it kind of sounds like this word here, kawaii saw. However, in this word with only one e. But still, this is what it sounds like if you were to try to say, it seems cute. Here, kawaii saw means poor or pitiful. So just be careful, this isn't the same word or anything like that. This is just the word for poor or pitiable. So what's that? Because he's sleeping soundly, waking him up is a little bit poor, a little bit pitiable? なんですかぐっすり眠っているから起こすのはかわいそう。あなたは、そうやって甘やかすと、つけ上がりますよ。Anatawa, so as for you, so yate in that way, amayakasuto, 
So Amaya Kasa here is a new piece of language at the N2 level, and this means to kind of pamper or to spoil someone. To is then creating a strong connection between the actions. So if you spoil them, then and as we can see, this is a less common way of saying for someone to take advantage of someone's kindness, that to kind of get carried away. So if you keep spoiling him like that, you'll get kind of carried away, you'll take advantage of that. Hmm. Ma, well then, anata ga souyu no nara, if you say it like that, muri ni, so forcefully, we've already seen muri with unreasonable, but here it's kind of a little bit more forcible, definition number three. Muri ni okosu, so to forcefully wake him up, no wa, the thing of that, yamete okimashou. So yameru is to stop, te oku is to stop in advance before something happens, and then mashou, showing will to do it in polite speech. So well then, if you say it like that, then I will stop myself from waking him up forcefully. Desga, however, Hontoni, this means truly, komate tara, if you're in any kind of bother, enryo naku, without hesitation, itte kudasai ne, so please tell me. So however, if you are in any kind of bother, please don't hesitate to tell me. Desga, hontoni komate tara, enryo naku, itte kudasai ne. Ore wo yu hitsuyo wa arimasen. Watashi tachi wa koko ni osewa ni natte iru mi desu. Here is for thanks or gratitude. Ore o iu, so to say your thanks or gratitude. Hitsyo wa arimasen. Hitsyo means it's needed or necessary. Arimasen, it's not. So there is no need to say thanks. Watashitachi wa, so as for us, koko ni, here, o sewa ni natte iru mi desu. So, osewa ni naru is like to receive favor from someone. So, you're kind of getting help from someone, right? They're staying here at the cafe. And then, ni here is usually used to express one's self. As we can see, one's body, one's self, one's place, one's position. And then, des politely stating to be. So, as for us, we are in your favor being here. So, there's no need for you to say thanks because we're here thanks to you. Dekiru hai. So, dekiru to be able to do. And then, we have this new piece of language, hai. This means the kind of extent, the scope the range of something. This is a new piece of language, but is quite common here at the N3. So, dekiru hai de, so within the scope of what I'm able to do, chikara ni naru, so will become your strengths or to help you out, no wa, the thing of that, tozen no koto desu yo, so tozen means it's obvious, no koto, it's the thing, so it's the thing of being obvious, it's a matter of course, it's, it's what is to be expected, desu yo, so he's teaching in a very kind of polite way. So of course, if I'm able to be of any assistance, I'll do my best to help you. その為に、その為に、その為に、その為に、その為に、その為に、その為に、その為に、その為に、その為に、その為に、その為に、その為に、その為に、その為に、その為に、その為に、その為に、その為に、その為に、その為に、その為に、その為に、その為に、その為に、
Dekiru to be able to do, dake only or just, so just as much as possible, as much as I can. Dekiru dake, takusan many no hon, books, so as many books as possible, o yonde, so to read them, benkyo shinakereba, so benkyo suru is to study, shinakereba, he needs to do it, to omote imashite. And so to is then quoting what he thought, omote imashite. So I thought that I need to read and study as many books as possible. I thought that I so, Betsuni is like not particularly. This is actually the catchphrase of Squall in Final Fantasy VIII. Betsuni, whatever. But here it's not particularly. Eraku means to be great, to be kind of remarkable. Wa arimasen. So, it's not. And then yo is kind of teaching. So, it's not anything particularly remarkable. Betsuni, eraku arimasen yo. Yaru kara ni wa kanpeki ni. Sore ga watashi no motto desu. So yaru is to do, kara ni wa is a combination of both kara and ni wa, and it means kind of as long as, as long as I'm going to be doing it. Yaru kara ni wa, as long as I'm going to do it, kanpeki ni. And kanpeki means perfect. And ni is now making an adverb, so the, it's kind of cutting off the sentence, to do something perfectly. So if you're gonna do it, you might as well do it perfectly. Sore ga, that is, watashi no my motto desu. So motto is a motto. So it's my motto that if I'm gonna do something, I might as well do it perfectly. Kanpeki ni dekiru ka wa. So kanpeki ni doing something perfectly, dekiru to be able to do it, ka wa. So as for if you can do it perfectly, wa karanai kedo, I don't know, however, Anata mo, you also, jibun nari ni. This is a new piece of language, but we've seen these bits before. Jibun is for oneself, and then nari is like in that way, so in your own way. Gambari tai, to want to do your best. To omote iru, that you're thinking that. No desu ne. So he's getting confirmation that it is that you're thinking that way, right? So even you are thinking that you want to do your best in your own way. Kampekinikirukawakaranaikeredo。あなたも自分なりに頑張りたいと思っているのですね。素晴らしい。それでこそ私たちの雇い主です。素晴らしい。Wonderful。それでこそ、so <laughs> precisely as that, watashitachino,our雇い主です。That's our employer. So, wonderful. That precisely is our employer. 素晴らしい。それでこそ私たちの雇い主です。あなたとなら切磋琢磨していけるでしょう。so here he says, Anata to nara. So if it's with you, Sessa takuma shteikeru. So this is all together in one set phrase. Sessa takuma. As we can see, definition number one, diligent application, cultivating one's character by studying or working hard, or even mutual encouragement to improve. So working hard together. So if it's with you, I'm sure we can both work hard together. De sure, I'm sure. Anata to nara. Sessa takuma shteikeru de shou. Okay, so the main character seems to want to give a handshake here with Akushu. This is actually a new piece of language as well. Handshake. This is a really common word, so I'm surprised it's new. Akushu here is for a handshake, to work together. So, Akushu desu ka? You want to join hands? You want to handshake? You want to cooperate together. Kochira koso. This is a new piece of language, but it's a very, very, very common piece of language. Kochira is like this way. It can be used to refer to oneself. And then koso is precisely. So it's precisely I. As in, it is precisely I who should say so. So I'm the one that should say that. Yoroshiku, onegaishimasu. So let's get along well together. Akushu desu ka? Kochira koso. Yoroshiku onegaishimasu. Sate. さて、私はもう少し勉強します。明日は早いので、もう寝た方がいいですよ。さて, well then, watashi wa, as for me, more skoshi, just a little bit more, benkyou shimasu. But here we can see he speaks in a more proper way, so instead of benkyou shimasu, he says benkyou shimasu. 
clearly pronouncing that s at the end, as you'll see with people who are speaking a little bit more properly. So well then, I have a little bit more to study. Ashita wa hayai no de. So as for tomorrow, we're going to be early. So more already. Netta ho ga i. So Nedu is to sleep. Ho ga i. Remember, we kind of have this. This is the better option. Literally here, it is the better option. Ho ga i. This way is good. So it'd be better if we slept, as in we should sleep. And then des yo, he's kind of teaching her information. So as tomorrow, we have to get up nice and early. It'd be best if you went to bed already. Sate, watashi wa mou sukoshi benkyou shimasu. Ashita wa hayai no de, mou neta hou ga ii desu yo. Hai, oyasumi nasai. Hai, oyasumi nasai. So oyasumi, we've seen to mean good night. Here with oyasumi nasai, this is just a little bit more of a proper way of saying it. Good night. Hai, oyasumi nasai. And so with that, I think good night is a very good way to end this. This was quite a big episode. We just went through like 20 to 25 minutes of Neko Para Cat Boys Paradise. As this game is actually only a couple of hours long, we went through quite a lot already. This is very much kind of the introduction finished. So what did you think about the game? Did you find it an interesting one? I think if this is your kind of genre, this is definitely a useful game because it is free. It is completely voice acted. Push to continue with replayable audio. And so as I said at the beginning of this video, most visual novels that have all of these tools really do make it like an S tier game for learning Japanese if it's your kind of thing. If you vibe with the characters and the story and everything, and if you like more kind of reading a novel type game, then these can actually be really, really, really good for Japanese language learners. The only downside, although it can kind of be a plus as well, is that it is just mostly text. You don't kind of get a break from the text because that's really what the game all is. So what did you guys think? Feel free to let me know down in the comments down below and make sure to let me know what game you want to see covered next on the channel in the vocab series. I do take suggestions down in the comment section so if you want to leave a comment of what game you want to see next feel free to do that and we also have regular votes on the Game Gengo Discord so you can actually vote directly and choose which game you want to see covered next. So thanks so much guys for watching I hope you enjoyed this video hopefully you enjoyed learning some Japanese uh, with these cat boys. <laughs> I'm now going to play the entire section that we just covered as an immersion section so feel free to watch that to try and reinforce some of the language that we covered in this episode. Thanks so much guys for watching thank you to everyone who supports the channel directly either through the Game Gengo website or through Patreon. If you want to come join the Discord community, come say hi, connect with everyone, myself, as well as get help with your Japanese and a whole bunch of other perks, then feel free to come join us either directly through the Game Gengo website or through Patreon. Thanks so much guys for watching, have fun learning Japanese, and as always, I'll see you all again in the next video. See you guys. Hello! <laughs> お、もう来てたのか。フェンネルは早いな。うん。約束の10分前ですね。10分前行動ができるのは良いことです。これからも心がけてください。そういうフェンネルさんはいつからここに僕たちより早く来てたから。うん。15分前。30分前です。三十分前。今日は雇い主に初めて会う日です。遅刻など持ってのほか。とはいえ、早く着きすぎる訪問も失礼に当たります。あ、あ、フェンネルさんは真面目だな。あれ？そういえばローリエさんは？この近くにはい
わあ壁に古時計がかけてある雇い主の趣味でしょうか良い趣味をしていますねお俺たちの雇い主は大学を卒業したばかりの女の子だと聞いてるぞ内装は彼女のおじいさんでしょうもともとこの店はその方が経営されていましたからねさて彼女ははあ気持ちよく寝てたのに想像しいなローリエさんおローリエが一番乗りだなうん何をしているんですか<笑>見ればわかるだろうどうしてあなたが彼女の膝で寝ているのかと聞いているんです今日からここが俺の寝床になるからだそうだろご主人様ほらこいつも同意したはあどう見ても困って笑っているだけでしょうあなたも嫌なら嫌と言いなさい出ないと猫は調子に乗りますようーん言っても猫だからあんまり気にしないと思うよまあそれが猫のいいところでもあるかなそういうことだなふ、はあ、俺は眠いから寝るああははローリエさんは自由だなうんああまだ自己紹介してなかったよねローリエさんからはされてないは寝ちゃってるしフェンネルさん僕たちから自己紹介するでいいかなそうですねでは私からしましょうフェンネルです好きな食べ物はクリームチーズと生ハムのパスタ得意料理はパスタ全般ですが和・洋・中・何でも作れます趣味は読書と仕事ですあなたが一人前のオーナーになれるよう私が指導するのでどうぞよろしくお願いしますセイジラ好きな食べ物は焼き魚とどら焼き得意料理は和食全般趣味は風呂に入ることとスイーツ巡りだ俺は力持ちだから力仕事は任せてくれリルです好きな食べ物はハンバーグとオムライス得意料理は洋食全般だよ特に好物のハンバーグとオムライスが得意かな趣味は散歩とファッション雑誌のチェックおじいさんが亡くなっていきなりお店を継ぐことになっちゃって大変だと思うけど僕たちも協力するから一緒に頑張ろうねローリエさん最後はあなたですよ。ローリエさん、うん、大きな声を出さなくても聞こえているローリエだ好きな食べ物はサンドイッチで得意料理も同じ趣味は寝ることとお気に入りのものにちょっかいをかけることだ俺を働かせたかったそれなりのご褒美はくれるんだろうローリエさん雇い主をあんまり困らせないでくださいあははははえっと今挨拶した4匹がこの店で働くんだすでに開店の手続きは済ませていて準備も万端明日から問題なく開店できるのですね
それなら今日は一日寝ていられるなうんこれから俺たちを家に案内したいそっか住み込みで働くことになるんだもんね<笑>どんな家なんだろう楽しみわ映画に出てきそうな家それにここだけ時間が止まったみたいだなやはりあなたのおじいさんは良い趣味をしていますねきっと中もこだわっているのでしょうこのような場所で寝泊まりできることに感謝します俺は屋根さえあればどこでもいいうん俺も似たようなものだはあ、あなたたちは立ち話もなんだし彼女に案内してもらわないそうですね案内よろしくお願いしますうわー中も素敵だねはい壁の色とヴィンテージ家具が調和して落ち着く空間を作り出していますここで朝のコーヒーを飲むのは幸せでしょうねおやすみローリエはよく寝るな寝る子は育つって言うし寝ていていいぞソファーは座る場所であって寝る場所ではありません猫はソファーでも寝るだろうソファーに限らず居心地が良ければどこでも寝る例えばご主人様の膝とかなうんよくわかるまあ俺が彼女の膝で寝たら足がしびれて大変だろうが僕も膝で寝たい気持ちはわかるかな<咳>リビングを案内してもらったので次は部屋に案内してもらいましょうか僕たちが住む部屋は2階もしかして4匹で住むのかなそれなら俺はリビングで寝させてもらううるさいのはまっぴらごめんだ私も勉強に集中できないのでうるさいのは困りますかといってリビングで寝るというのは賛成しかねますが俺はにぎやかでいいと思うけどな僕もみんなでワイワイするのは好きだから。4匹一緒でいいよえ2階に1匹ずつ部屋があるの助かりますうわそれならずっと寝てられるなうん残念だなせいじさんみんなの部屋に遊びに行けばいいんだよ僕はいつでも大歓迎だから気軽に遊びに来てねありがとう遠慮なく遊びに行くぞあたくさん部屋があるねうん一番奥右手の部屋はおじいさんが使ってた書斎でそこは遠慮してほしいんだ。お前はどこの部屋を使ってるんだ書斎の向かいそれなら俺はお前の隣だなあローリエさんずるい危い者がちだ悪く思うなよこの中で俺といい勝負ができそうなのはフェンネルだがまあ俺の一人勝ちだろう彼女の飼い猫になりたいのなら
自分が有用だと彼女に示せばいいのですもちろんそれを示せる自信が私にはありますうん争いからは何も生まれないぞ俺はせっかくなら4匹で仲良くしたいな僕も誠司さんに賛成全員で彼女の飼い猫になればいいんじゃないあでも飼い猫になったら僕を一番にしてくれると嬉しいなどうしたのなんだか戸惑った顔をしてるけどうん僕たちみんなお店を手伝いに来てくれただけだと思ってたから「飼い猫」って言われて戸惑っちゃったんだもしかして学校から何も説明されてないそっかじゃあ戸惑うのも無理ないよね。念のため確認させてください猫が学校に入って知識と生きるスキルを身につけることはあなたも知っていますよねさすがにそれは知っていましたか生徒は飼い主か雇い主を見つけることで学校を卒業することができます早く卒業する猫がいれば遅く卒業する猫もいるぞ。学校でいろんなことを学べるのは楽しいんだけどやっぱり猫だからね自分を心から愛してくれる飼い主や雇い主に出会うことを心待ちにしてるんだだから君がそうなるんじゃないかって期待しちゃってうん謝らなくていいよ期待しちゃった僕たちも悪いんだしそれならそれで問題ない。ローリエさんこいつは喫茶店を存続させたいでも人手が足りないノウハウもない校舎に関しては俺たちも素人だがこれから学べばいいだろうローリエさんの言う通りです彼女の飼い猫になりたいのなら自分が有用だと彼女に示せばいい。最初はその気がなくても有用な猫であれば買おうという気持ちになります確かにうん2匹ともしっかり考えてるんだな猫はみんなに愛される生き物だそっちの方面でご主人様をその気にさせるって方法もあるぜ例えばこんな風に。尻尾をご主人様の体に巻きつけてにゃんって泣いて甘えてその気にさせるとかなお大丈夫<笑>彼女を困らせないでくださいと何度も言いましたよね困らせる猫らしくアピールしただけだ。喋ってたら眠くなってきたし部屋で寝させてもらうまったく彼はままあ猫らしいといえば猫らしいよねいきなりのことで彼女が混乱してるし今日はここでお開きにしないそうですねのディル君はどの部屋にしますかじゃあローリエさんの隣にするよでは私は一番階段に近い部屋にしますそれならフェンネルの隣にするぞこれで全員部屋が決まりましたねうんあさっきの飼い猫の話なんだけど今すぐには決められないけど前向きに考えたいだから時間が欲しいうんそう言ってくれるだけですごく嬉しいよ学校側から派遣期間を設けられていませんからね
あなたに買いたいと言ってもらえるよう努力しますそれで全員飼い猫になれたら幸せだなまずは喫茶店の手伝いです明日が初日なので皆さん頑張りましょうはーいおいきなり寝返りを打つとは思わなかったな危うく叩かれるところだったぜうんなんで自分の部屋があるのに隣で寝てるのかってねここが寝床だからだ猫はいつでもどこでも寝られるから部屋で寝ても構わないんだがやっぱり居心地のいい場所で寝た方がぐっすり眠れるからなお前のそばが一番よく眠れる驚いてるのかお前は俺のお気に入りだそうやって俺の言動にすぐ反応するのが見てて面白い俺はいたずら好きだからお前みたいな人間が好みなんだお前はどうだ俺のような猫は嫌いかどう答えたらいいのかって顔をしてるなお前の困る顔嫌いじゃないほらもっと近くに来いこれならぐっすり眠れそうだ、はああなたですかこんな時間にどうしたんですローリエさんが隣で寝ていて眠れそうにないんですねわかりました私が彼を起こしてきましょう何ですかぐっすり眠っているから起こすのはかわいそうあなたは。そうやって甘やかすとつけ上がりますよまああなたがそういうのなら無理に起こすのはやめておきましょうですが本当に困っていたら遠慮なく言ってくださいねお礼を言う必要はありません私たちはここにお世話になっている身ですできる範囲で力になるのは当然のことですよそのために今もああ喫茶店経営に役立つ本を読んでいたところです私も喫茶店経営は初めてなのでできるだけたくさんの本を読んで勉強しなければと思っていまして別に偉くはありませんよやるからには完璧にそれが私のモットーです<笑>完璧にできるかはわからないけれどあなたも自分なりに頑張りたいと思っているのですね素晴らしいそれでこそ私たちの雇い主ですあなたとなら切磋琢磨していけるでしょう握手ですかこちらこそよろしくお願いしますさて私はもう少し勉強します明日は早いのでもう寝た方がいいですよはいおやすみなさい。